Hello and welcome to the stream. Today we're going to continue our playthrough of Gothic 2. And on the audio settings, I think I actually make it slightly louder. So tell me if it's too loud. But um, yeah, we'll just continue from where we left last time. Last time we played through chapter one, and now we are a magician of fire. We're did you go, go through all the? Okay, let's get, let's get the metal ornament here. For a metal ornament, it should have been by the stone circle near Lobar's farm. If you mean this thing here, we sus. Okay, um, so we got this one, and now we can head off. Do we have any learning points to spend? No, we don't. The question now is whether we want to get uh, go through chapter two rather quickly, or whether we want to do some yak and dust stuff. Not 100% decided on that. Um, how much money do we have? Not very much. We can sell some some uh, some skins, and we can also sell some of this stuff. Belt of force, leather belts. Um, we ha we can actually use this. How much damage is it? 70 damage. Yeah, that's that's probably better here to have. So we have this. And we have 46 strength. Okay. We have this and then. Hmm. We have no two handed weapon training yet. Only the two that we got from that one quest. Mm. Do we have any speed potions? No, we don't. You might want a few of those. For the value of mines. Let's see what we can sell here. Welcome, traveler. Look, I have a large selection and. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Show me your. It's my. Oh, we actually have no speed potions. Just run fire rain. Snap a weed. Oh, we can actually have a have ourselves some potions brewed at the monastery, since we're a mage now. I think. Um. Right, we can sell all these. Hmm. What else can we sell? Pan, mandible. Not actually, that much to sell here. Let's sell some of this stuff. And we want these these mana guys. You want all those around? We sell ham and cheese. Fish, honey, milk, whatever. Sausage. Um, that's gonna be enough for one speed potion. Someone's gonna do the work. And then, like this literal guy or whatever he's called. Someone's gonna do the work. He's not there in in, in the evening. Okay. Oh, he's over there. Ah, okay. I don't want to talk to this guy. Wait, later. I don't want to talk to this guy. Okay. Yeah, he's just gonna tell us a bunch of useless stuff. Hey, you. Wait a minute. You're headed for the Valley of Mines, aren't you? And here's a bargain. You give me a report on what's going on with the ore, and for that, I will get you a rune stone. I'll see what I can do. I can't take care of Wait a minute. Everybody. How's business? The prisoners would scrape boxes and boxes of ore. On their way back, they bought food. But now we're cut off from the mainland. How do you make... Right now, I'm living off my savings. But if I can't get back into business, times what are going to get rough for me. That's terrible. And it's going to get even worse. 
And in the English version, for some reason, some, some names are just like randomly in all caps. Not sure exactly why. Isn't that supposed to be like one guy giving you another quest? These Can you sleep here somewhere? Go away. Don't tell me that. A now bed. Can you buy anywhere? No. Oh, they don't actually... Okay, they are there. See? That wasn't so hard. I do object to me going in there. Okay. Um I should just find a bed here. That's like um his name is called I think it's Lutero who's supposed to be here in, in during the day. What time is it anyway? Okay, it's just nine o'clock. I will just sleep here. Where is he? I think he also has has like a speed potions. You sleep sleep until until midday. Ah, oh, there he is. Okay. Wait a minute. My name is Lutero. I buy and sell all kinds of things. What wares do you have to offer? Well, especially rare and unusual things. So far, I've always managed to fulfill my customers' wishes. Are you looking for anything in particular? Yes, for my current assignment, I need the claws of a snapper. But not just any old claws. It would have to be something special. The claws of a mighty beast who has killed many men already, or something like that. Where can I find snappers? There are a few of them on this island, but most of them live in the Valley of Mines. And what's in it for me? I could find you a rune stone. I'll see what I can do. All these stupid quests with the rune stones, because rune stones, like in the original uh, Gothic 2, without the expansion, rune stones were quite scarce. But now in this version, with the expansion, you can actually just find plenty of rune stones and just even buy them, like a hundred of pops. Not they're not that uh, precious, really. But anyway, so we'll buy a speed potion. Um, do we have a sleep scroll still? If you have a sleep scroll. We have one speed potion. Hopefully, be good enough. Mm. I think I think I've decided to just do the Valley of Mines first. I think that's a bit more interesting, and then we can get um, some more powerful magic. You went and entered the monastery, huh? I Okay, got a few got skins a few for him. Show me But it means that I'll alone. Does he have Okay, nothing that interests me really? It's like one quest that's a bit risky, which I think I wanna do right now. Have any sort of Magic that can help me out in case I'm in trouble. Not really. So I think it's safer to do that with this with the speed push. We can buy another one then. After that. Hey, you. That's, that's him. How's it going? You're not from around here, are you? Never mind. Neither am I. 
Where did you hang around before? In the woods, hunting scavengers and wolves, together with some hunters. But I gave it up. These are dangerous times. There's a lot of riffraff running around out there. Why don't we go hunting together? Hmm. With two, it isn't so dangerous, that's true. Do you know anything about hunting then? I mean, do you know how to skin an animal? Yes. All right, but I want to see 50 gold pieces. For that, you can keep the skins and sell them to Busper. That's a fair deal, isn't it? Here they are. Let's go hunting. All right, follow me. Outside the south gate is a wood where we should find more than enough critters. Probably more than we'd like. So what do we have in terms of equipment? Um, we Here have the inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit of order of fire, the they will have Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. Not quite Due enough to the general situation. We've been goblin berries or something. And wilderness near no. the city are to be avoided for your own protection. Okay. Furthermore, any contact with the rebelling peasantry in the surrounding there areas you go. is strictly forbidden. And this hunt will face some pretty dangerous stuff, which is which is why I want to use the speed potion, but we'll get uh, enough loot to make up for that. And to be able to buy another speed potion. Maybe even two. And also still get some money from the man from, from the money lender. Which in theory you have to pay back, but um you can just not. Okay. These wolves and they're also already kind of dangerous. It's a bad dog is almost dead. Bring the speed potion now. Nothing to be That's, had there. It gets even danger more dangerous. Nothing to be had there. Nothing there. Nothing there. It's gonna be a shadow beast Nothing here. To be had there. 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 Nothing to be had there. If he doesn't kill it really quickly. So what do you think? Should we go far? Um it's gonna start after me then. That will it will go Let's on. Go on. Alright. Let's hope this works out. Okay. Even like a, an orc scout here. Sort of in similar level of strength to the other beast, but unlike the other beast, um, it's not as vulnerable to arrows. Ooh, but actually, uh, Bartok got some like, really lucky hits there. I think I hit Bartok there accidentally. He's not mad at me. No, he's not. Okay, so that, everything went really smoothly there. Was quite lucky. That's it. I'm going back to the city. It's just too dangerous out here for me, even with two of us. An orc right outside the city. Holy shit. So, see ya. You can sell the skins to Bosper. We'll do that. It's gonna recoup our investment easily. We can kill some of these goblins here. Not too dangerous for us. Especially with the speed potion active. We have a good amount of HP. Oh yeah, two of the weapons are kind of painful at the start. Okay, we actually have to run a bit. 
I'm gonna pick up the loot. Okay. Right, heal a bit, and then we'll finish them off. Uh, what does my bow do against these guys? Uh, not that much, actually. Okay. We need to get some more um, fighting experience so I can at least nothing to expert level there. with the uh, 30 points. We almost have enough for that. Need one more level up. That's okay. We don't need lock picking for that. It's only twenty gold though. Um. Look a bit further here. Since we're still fast. Not very dangerous. How much protection do we have? 53, okay. We can also take on snappers. There's like also a couple of snappers in nearby here. Um I need any, any other creatures in the way here? Or is it just those bandits in the cave in the end? Not sure. Maybe we can pick some of these uh, herbs and such and mushrooms. Okay, I don't think I want to go up against the bandits here. Probably a bit too strong for me right now. Oh, I forgot I had the fire arrow. Fire arrow would have actually been probably pretty good against the, the goblins. Okay, let's just go to back to town now. No, no, nothing there. Go back to town. Uh, we'll sell the skins and then we'll buy like an extra speed potion or two. I need those in the Valley of Mines to be safer there. Oh, flying, flying tree there. Oh, we can actually go through there. Interesting. I don't from this direction. Oh, we, we can't? Can we just go through there? Yeah, from this direction we can go through there. Interesting. Didn't know about that. Um, there's probably still some herbs here somewhere. It's actually important to, to pick those up, especially the, the um, dark mushroom thingies, whatever they're called. Because those, uh, um, 50 of those give me plus 5 mana. And it's a stacking bonus, so you're going to get as many of those as possible. Get all the mana, dark mushrooms. That's the stuff. There's a couple of snappers back there, I think, but we probably want to sleep first. We take those on. Mm. That was quite obvious. Numbers to sixty damage per hit, so with our fifty-three protection, we should be fairly safe there. There you are again. I've got a few skin. Wolf skin. Ah, even a good work. Alright, we've got a decent amount of cash. I have slept well and feel rested. Mm. You know, a 3k experience to get a level up. 
Maybe we can try just getting some experience. If we get to the Valley of Mine, so that we can have some decent combat abilities. Once we're there, we can, can take on at least sort of uh, minor beasties with our weapons. Can you Another prophecy. Yes. How much? For a paltry. Okay, let's so they get the prophecy, so we get some experience. Tell me about the future. All right, son of bravery. I shall now enter a state of trance. Are you ready? A mercenary. He will need you. A terrible murder. I, the sinister henchman. They are coming, searching for you. A guardian will fall, but the three shall unite. Only then shall you receive what is yours. I really like those visions, actually. That's kind of fun. all. There's nothing more I can Telling us about the a future in a sort of a uh, non-obvious way. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the, the counter is hereby enacted. Uh, Martial law is will not talk to him. In all cities and regions of the realm. All civilian judges are to mm, get some training here. How's your duty? These boys swing their swords, but when I'm done with them, every single one of them will be a tough, hard bastard. Can you also train me in sword fighting? Lord Andre has ordered that we train everyone who is in a position to defend the city. But that's only true for combat training. All other kinds of training are reserved for the militia. Can you at least halfway handle a weapon? I think so. All right, you can start when you're ready. Let's begin with the training. Of course, Rev. All right, we've got some sort of weapon training. Okay, we're up at 26. All of those are from the weapon that we're carrying right now. The natural ability is at 22. Mm. Okay, Zurus should have some stuff for me. Show me your wares. That's terrible. That's one of the more expensive stuff. I don't believe that. Do you not have speed potions? Apparently not. Okay. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Oh, we can afford one speed potion. Go away, don't tell me that. Really? How interesting. Mm. I won't tell her a thing from now on. He had better shut up. He had better shut up. Um, yeah, let's actually go to the sort of towards the monastery. And also, they go up there, get this mana ring, which you can probably keep for now. Or even sell, I'm not sure. And. I don't think we can yet take on the. The various bandits in the caves around here but we'll be able to deal with some of the lesser creatures here like uh, the boar that's going to be there right here you can see how much damage i do with a crit compared to if i don't crit nothing there and 
There's some bandits here which are very strong, so I'm gonna aggro those. They very easily kill me with their bows. But I wanna get one of these scavengers. Okay, they actually could just go in here to, to eat. They are scavengers after all. That wood is quite dangerous, we're gonna go there. Actually, you can also go with go on an expedition with Laris. Nothing to be had there. But probably want some some um, sort of safety precautions for that. We probably would need to have like a um, fire rain or something. We've, we've got that quest uh, last time of uh, searching for these parts of the ornament. I got one ornament right at the start of, of the day stream from Lord Hagen, the Paladins. And then we've got um, another one that's near the. It's near Ona's farm. And the third one is, is uh, nothing there. You know, in in this wood here. But this wood is very dangerous. A lot of very strong creatures there. So even if you go with Lars, it's still kind of dangerous. Especially the return journey. Nothing to be had there. Need to be very careful there. Okay, gets eats, drink some stew, eat some stew, whatever. Just like he's drinking it. And yeah, up on this plateau, there's some decently valuable stuff to be found. And I lure those scavengers again one at a time. Didn't do that much damage, they can't really pierce my armor, but uh, minimum damage in this game is 5. We don't want to take too many hits, in any case. I wonder if, if it's even worthwhile using the 200 weapon. Maybe it's, it's better to use the 100 weapon for now. This unskilled combo with 200 weapon is like really awkward and slow. I think it's actually better. I do less damage, have less chance of critting, but it's probably better on the whole. So, um, sort of Act Two is um, depending on how you play it is uh, is either or Chapter Two is either like really short. Or can be like the longest of the chapters, because the w the way that they designed this expansion pack, uh, the uh, the Night of the Raven for Gothic Two, is that instead of sort of adding in extra late game content, that's sort of after the the main story, that wouldn't really have worked too too well for for the main story for Gothic Two. Um, so instead of doing that, they sort of integrated the new content within the game and they take all these quests with the missing people. Those are from the expansion. And um, but if once we found out where the missing people are, we can go to like a new area of the game that's uh, exclusive to the expansion pack. And you can do that and either, the, either during the second chapter or the third chapter. So, um, depending on how you decide, then of how how you like when you want to do that, either the the uh, second chapter or the third chapter as well. The short. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for the main storyline first, get to the second chapter, and then do the whole. Um, expansion stuff in the third chapter 
that as a mage is going to allow me to get um, extra magic. How am I looking for experience? I am 2.2k away from leveling up. That's not too bad. If you, if you do the whole ornament stuff with Laris, we can probably get enough. But let's do that. But I want like either a speed potion or like a fire rain as, as insurance in case I get some sort of uh, nasty critters on my tail. I think we have enough gold for that. That should be fine. Mm. And then we go to the Valley of Mines. There's not actually much fighting we need to do there, but like being able to have at least the basic combat abilities, it's going to be useful to take on some of the lesser creatures there. The music is like really quiet in here. That's an open secret. Did I may turn it up up a little bit more? I think so. There we go. I can't take care of everything for everybody. Uh, I can enjoy some of the nice music. Oh, well, there's like extra shadows here. They're not supposed to be there. Um, am I going? No, that's not the way. Go to the upper quarter of the city. Um, or do we just get like a fire rain? Let's get a, let's get a um, fire rain from here. Mm. Hey, you. Show me your. That's not what I. Fifty. That's what I've always said. That's terrible. Okay, let's have these on. That's an open secret. Maybe on four. Actually, no, this is four. Me on five. That's terrible. Uh, let's put it on nine. But that's terrible. I can't take care of everything. Okay, that's gonna kill like almost anything. Everybody knows my name. A really powerful spell that um, you can only get in chapter five normally. But We can get it now as a scroll. I have a message for Master Isgaroth. He guards the shrine in front of the monastery. If you run this errand for me, you get to choose your own reward. Let's do it. I'll do it. Good. Then take the message and choose one of these spell scrolls. When you have delivered the message, I shall reward you accordingly. Um. Ice arrow. Now we don't need ice arrow. Let's just get a healing. Oh, do we need an ice arrow? Actually, yeah, kind of nice. Probably it's like give me the ice, ice arrow. arrow. Good. So be on your way to Master Isgaroth now. Okay. Um. About this. How much? Ask Martin, the provisions master of the pal. He has been tasked with un. You can find Martin in the harbor district. Okay, we can talk to Martin as well. Um, there. Yeah, can you heal me? Can you heal? God and us bless this. Okay. Why is he not preaching?
He's supposed to be talking Adonis to Adonis feared okay, for the day in which the beast would return to the land. Yep, okay. And um, we can talk to Cavalorn. I got so the missing one, you see. I leave a part of his power in his realm. And another so and another hundred experience for us. Human, if the beast should return. So actually need to go the other way here. Also, don't tell me you didn't know that. Also got this ring here, which like you said. might come in handy later. You listen to the wrong people. We're casting spells. Actually, what what's uh what's up with the alchemist? Is he still mad at me? Not really the alchemist, but like some magic guy. We have another Oblivion scroll oh, seven. Let's see if he's still um, mad at me. I used the spell scroll. Fine, fine. And were you successful? Yes, it worked. Excellent. No, it one small success for science, but a big one for me. Now, I can use my time to instruct you in the arts of alchemy. I could also give you some useful things if you want. Show me your wares. He's actually an alchemist. Never mind. Um, okay, so this is also like a really valuable spell scroll. On oh, he has speed potions. Okay, can we can we afford that? Somehow we can sell this. Sell this. Um, have some leather out of the bags as well. Gold ring. Why not? Um, silver ring. We want to sell these guys. How much does the fire arrow cost normally? Only five mana anyway, so yeah, the fire arrow scrolls are now completely useless to, to us. We can sell those definitely. We can oh there's some nice gold in there. Okay, yeah, now we can afford the Show me you. one speed potion. And Where are they? Fire arrow, fire arrow, fire arrow. Okay. Now we go with Laris. Also at some point beat up some of these villagers. Um, I think I might be able to fight Mo. Also talk to Martin. Don't we have any evidence yet for for the bandits though, so not much point. I won't tell her a thing from now on. Let's um let's fight Mo. That's not what my husband said. Oh, he doesn't actually challenge us when, because we're already a mage. Okay, we are not gonna fight with Mo. Um can fight with Mo later. Hey, you! I don't get it. You entered the monastery. What's it like there? Different. I can imagine. Have you ever used a teleporter stone? No, but I've heard of them. The water mages aren't too sure about those things yet. I've given it a try. <laughs> of course you have. You're not afraid of anything, are you? Well, if you want to use the things, Go ask Orlin, the tavern owner, whether he'll let you into his boarded up pub owner. I think he has hidden one of the teleporter stones for the walk out of the eastern... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... Can you help me get through the... Nefarious ordered me to find more ornaments. One of the places where I'm supposed to look is in the middle of the woods. I see. And that's still too dangerous for you alone, right? 
No problem. Let me know when you want to leave. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Where? Okay, lass uns gehen. To the dense forest in the east. Then let's go. Follow me. We'll follow him. Um, 2k experience still required. Let me get at least close to that with all the creatures in there. That's one thing I really appreciate about the uh, level design in Gothic 2 is that you have like a mix of different a different strength of, of opponents right in, in some rpg games you have this sort of very boring setup where you have like yes there's one area that's like the low level creatures and it's only creatures from like level one to five there then next next area has like creatures from level i don't know three to eight and and so on um but in gothic 2 there's also like areas that are more dangerous than others obviously but everything is rather mixed right in like in between um areas with uh, strong monsters there's also some weak monsters there's here and there scummy and and vice versa so you have like and you have like dangerous opponents close to to um a lot a lot less dangerous ones and so you also have to sort of play carefully and sort of watch your surroundings and yeah i just that just to me feels like a lot more interesting and having this homogenous feeling of like all the strong opponents in one place, all the weak opponents in another. This also helps give you a stronger sense of progression, because even later on in the game you still encounter weaker opponents, and sort of being able to kill an opponent in like one hit that uh, you struggled with before is really satisfying, really shows you how much stronger you, you're becoming. Because if you're always only facing opponents that are roughly uh, you're same, uh, around the same level as you are, then you really get that sense of progression really to the same extent. Have you thought about going into the woods? Do you really want to do that? Yes. All right, my friend. Then follow me. This is going to be gross. Gross? That seems like a strange uh, translation. Okay, we need to be very careful now. Let's take a bunch of skeletons and such. There's another of those scum. Hi there, places. Andrew. Good morning to you. Afternoon for me though. So while Laris is taking those creatures for us. We're just gonna collect some mushrooms. Okay. There you go. Quick question about Chen, sure. Ask away. We're gonna just be very careful here because there's some um, nasty opponents here in this in these woods. So we have Fire rain on this, in case we bite off more than we can chew. Those are some skeletons over there, which would be great if Lars could aggro those, but it's also bit dangerous for me to aggro them. Oh, actually I aggro them. I aggro them. Ooh, it's not good. Okay. Oh, Lars is a bit confused. I'll get to your question about Jen in a, in a second. Let me deal with these skeletons. Actually, I'm a real skeleton, not just a lesser one. Isn't there like a second one? Oh, there's also more skeletons there. Oh, Lara's already gone. Okay. We'll leave the other skeletons uh, be. Uh, okay, can Chen be played as an offlane without maxing Holy Persuasion first? Or like a healer or a right clicker? I don't think it's gonna work. Like, what does Chen really offer then? Like, he has like an aura that like allows you to help helps your lane, like a little bit of like region and and armor. To plunder. 
Because Lars is from, yeah, I'm, I'm a mage, but uh, it has nothing to do with, with Lars. He's just, it's, it's not like a permanent party member. It's just like for this little quest here, he's accompanying me. And since he's an like invulnerable NPC that's like um, quest relevant, I can just let him tank everything. Um, but yeah, like Chen as an offlander is already like rather marginal. One less. Like the only way of the, the the reason he can sort of kind of work as an offlander is because you can last Nothing it really there. well if you take Nothing over over there. range creeps. Um, but like if if you're just like playing as a right clicker, like what what do you provide here? Like you have not not that great stat progression and. You don't do much right click damage there. and you can say blame with the healer but like what's what's the point nothing you don't you heal any better if you're a core except except in the, like you can you can like afford like a mech a bit faster stuff like that but like for, for chen that the, the poly persuasion is like by far the most important and strongest of his abilities um And like sure with penitence you get like extra attack speed and stuff but that is just as just as applicable to your um to your creeps and to your allies it doesn't really justify playing as a core it's also just not enough like a little bit of attack speed is not enough to make a interior with no other damage boosting spells into a right clicker Hurry up. I don't want to. Okay. So. Bunch of uh, nasty beasts around here. Need to be careful about aggroing them. You take these three switches, and then there's going to be um, an opponent that spawns. Lars can help us with that. Um, here's, here's one switch. We'll activate that one last. Then we can run towards Lars. Um, we might have even aggro those wolfies though. There's also wargs who are much stronger than wolves. They're basically like much stronger versions of wolves. Ooh, King Sorrel. The valuable herb. Ooh. Stay away from the vags. Where's the? Oh, there it is. There's a switch. And we'll switch over to the other, to the other weapon that can actually do some damage against the stone guardian guys. Okay, now I've got this. Okay. There. there we are. You should be able to do the rest by yourself. Okay, Andrew. Andrew. Back, see you on Chen's day. Nothing to be had there. Okay, let's not die on the way back though. This is a warning. So there's like a walk up there. We don't want to echo those. Those do 150 damage. That's a lot of damage. And actually, even take on these goblin skeletons, but it's a bit risky though. They have zero resistance to magic, so. We can take them out, but they can also do a lot of damage to us if they reach us. So, I'm not gonna do that. You can take on these wolves though. Actually, 
Actually, I can probably the most efficient there. way of fighting them just using magic, even though it's only the um, most basic spell, the fire arrow. It can also work properly against the shield raiders. <laughs> Uh, it's not too bad against them. They also probably also have no resistance. Nothing to be had there. Okay, yeah, we almost leveled up. The uh, I'm getting one here. Okay, level up. And once... So once we are back in town, we'll have these basic combat abilities. That will make everything a bit easier. But then we need to invest into strength. Want a lot more strength. Hmm, we can go through here. Can we accurate one of those. Okay, let's that's a... There we go. Yeah. Ah, it's blood flies. <laughs> so annoying. There we go. Some swamp weed. Okay. Hey, talk anything with him? I took your statuette to the monastery. Take this as a small token of my gratitude. Oh, actually, got a gold from him. That's not too bad. Again, we're gonna ignore cancer here. I don't believe that. What? What am I eating? Not eating my king's soul at least. I wanted to take off this weapon. Um, so I have 22. So we're not gonna abuse the the bug. Um, this is like a bug where you can like drain to 29 and then um, spend five points at the old cost. We're not gonna take advantage of that. Okay, if you are 30 now. Um wait hold on a second. Do we do we train strength now or do we train Do we train more combat ability? I think it's actually better to just like go all the way to 60 on our combat ability and so sort of leave the strength for a little bit later. We can start taking bonuses. Let's begin, of course. Oh, 
Wait, hold on. Why does it only cost one learning point? What? I'm confused. I'm at 30. 200. Of course. Why does it only cost one? So confused. What happened there? What? Why? Well, that does the plus two that I got from from this one bonus from what's this novice's name? Does it not count or something? I'm sure. Range. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, I'm confused by that. Hopefully that's not a bug. But we want to take advantage of that. But uh, that's what it is right now. Okay, anything else I need for my, before I go to the Valley of Mines? Not really. Let's just go. We can sell some more skins. We can sell a few more skins. The boss bar. Alright, you have a decent amount of gold. Is there anything else we need to do before we leave the chapter here in Corinus? Not really, I think. Maybe we can deliver the message on the way. And we're strong enough to take on snappers. Should be able to deal with snappers and it's really the most dangerous stuff we're gonna face. Or that we actually have to actually kill. How much damage do we do? We do 70 damage plus 46. Should be enough to deal with snappers reasonably well. Okay, there's some blood flies. There we go. That wasn't too hard. Now we actually have how much? 36%. We're critting more than a third of the time. And this is more, there should also be no object here. Okay. One crit is enough for them. One thing that's a bit annoying about Gothic 2 is there is this sort of crit system where you like deal almost no damage without crits. And so you're usually just left dealing the minimum damage of five. I'll never get this open without the right key. Uh, Don't know what lot clicking either, so I'll just keep going here. Gold pitch. 
Uh, might as well pick this stuff up. Maybe we can pay a brief visit to the monastery. do a bit of praying it's a mana Deliver the message here. Hey, you. I carry a message from Vatras. What is this message? It's a letter. Here. Good. You can tell Vatras that I have received the message. Take these potions as a reward for your service. They will surely be of use to you. Bless me. I bless you in the name. And do you not buy stuff from him? What is going on there? Bless me. I bless. May Inno. I hey. usually sell stuff. What? May Inno. I'm supposed to sell stuff too. What? Maybe because of my fine match as well or something? Seems kind of strange though. Very strange. Anyway, let's um, pay a brief visit to the monastery. I have no learning points left. I need another... 3.5k that's not easily um, achievable might have gone about it differently that's just what i said do you really believe that teach me so it says in the scriptures I'm not telling you anything new. Um, hold on, do I not have... Have I gotten the potion from my chamber yet? Oh, actually I haven't. Actually a, a pretty nice potion. I have mana. This chest is empty. What man do I have? 44. For Enos. Wait a minute. I need a need a few things. Um Okay, it's good enough. Ooh, it's also kind of a nice amulet, but I can't quite afford it. I'm not quite afford it. Hmm. 
you are selling an unreasonable number of stuff. All right. But the question is, can we have some netherweed? And the alchemists make me some speed potions. Hey. Could you brew me a potion? Do you doubt my abilities? Fine. Not so fast. Naturally, you must bring me the ingredients. And How much do you have? For the brewing itself, I... All right. A potion of speed. Okay, that is four speed potion. That's very nice. So. Now it's time to go to the Valley of Mines. And for those not familiar with the Gothic series, uh, Gothic 1 is set in the Valley of Mines. And this valley is important because there's a lot of ore mines there that we can ma mine magical ore, which is used to make special especially powerful weapons and sort of the, the oops I hit my microphone stand there but the backstory of of gothic one is that there's a that there's a war on on, on the main continent the the human kingdom of Mitana is fighting against the orcs and the war is not going well so um the, the kingdom needs uh, lots of ore weapons and so to, to increase production of ore the sort of penal colony is established in the Valley of Mines. So anyone who's committed any sort of crime is rounded up and thrown into this penal colony and to make sure that no one can escape a group of mages is uh, tasked to, be, to create a magical okay, barrier and so they create this barrier in a ritual, but the problem is that uh, the ritual somehow goes wrong, and the barrier ends up being much bigger than than planned, also trapping the mages themselves. And then another thing goes wrong that the mages. Oh, no, the, some of the prisoners uh, um, start a revolt and uh, kill the guards and from then on the uh, prisoners run the colony and this revolt was led by a guy called uh, Gomez who sort of established himself as uh, as the leader but um, nothing to be had there some people are not happy with um, with uh, Gomez's rule, and so they leave and form form their own camps. And so you have um, the start of the, of the game, Gothic One. You have these three camps in opposition to one another. The one called the Old Camp is uh, led by Gomez, and uh, they. Um, Get uh, they get get resources by by trading the ore with the outside world, so they basically negotiate with the king and uh, um, and they were going to continue the ore shipment, but in exchange, he has to give them various goods, and then there's the um, the new camp led by a former general called me and um it was led by by, by him and Nothing by there. by the water mages the water mages believe that uh, they can bring down the barrier by creating a magical explosion for which for which they need lots and lots of ore so instead of trading the ore with the outside world 
they um they instead uh, use that ore to sort of collect that ore all into one giant heap and hope to one day be able to bring down the barrier with it um there's also the the, the swamp cam these are the sort of like religious fanatics who um who pray to a god they call the sleeper but all these escape lands of both both these camps um don't work out but as it turns out the sleeper is actually a terrible demon who actually who actually was responsible for um, this ritual going wrong and creating a much bigger barrier and the plan of the water mages doesn't work out because uh you know the the we the player character uh Instead, uses the magic ore, uh, this, this pile of magic ore, to charge a um, super powerful sword, which um, we needed to to sort of defeat the sleeper. But then, with the defeat of the sleeper, the barrier does come down, and that's where this game two starts. Okay. So that's sort of the very backstory in a nutshell. Mm, need to heal up a bit. There's some goblin skeletons that I can take out from here. Need to be a bit careful. Okay. There we go. Goblin's gardens are rather dangerous at the start. They do 75 damage. And well, I think maybe even like 80, 85 for their weapon. And the thing is that mo that um, normally the way the damage formula works Nothing is that you only do like real damage when you crit, and that that that, that applies to normally all everything I do with the weapon, actually like the player character, also to sort of NPCs and monsters that use weapons, except for the um, the scholar skeletons. A kind of a special case. Not sure exactly why. But that's what it is. And also, like, um, so most like animals and such, they always crit. And the goblin skulls also always crit. So they can be quite dangerous at the start. They're also a bit fast, typically, like, a little bit faster than the player character. Um, so they're very strong at the start, but later on they're easy to kill. Especially if you have magic, they have zero resistance to magic. Oh, there's actually there's some nice stuff there. And even some black ore that's a very powerful thing which uh, sort of slows down time at least in the rest of the world we're leaving the the our player character able to sort of move faster than everything else for a short time that's only only i think like three pieces of black ore in the entire game they're quite rare 
um, should be used for special occasions. I probably shouldn't do too many of these like minor guys. I'm just gonna go to the Valley of Mines pretty soon. Just, just put it like on, on my way. I'm doing some of these. There we go. Um, can we get another level before we go in there? It's another one k. Maybe if we if we just like slaughter some some guys and get like uh, some summoning abilities, might be good. I I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Um, being able to summon some skeletons, some goblin skeletons would be nice. Make sure we don't aggro the bandits over there. Um, let's get let's get one more point of mana so we can have nine um, fire thingies. We can actually also go and get some soup from Tekla. Yeah, let's let's go get some soup. Let me get uh, goblin skeletons and then ooh, goblin berries. Nice. Eat those right away. That's permanent one agility. Should be able to deal with a lurker. I want to load several guys at once, though. Throw them one at a time. Getting some good crits. How much damage did you do to us? Um, so. No, that was. What is it? Seven damage? Yeah, seven damage. So. Okay, let's just do 60 a hit. Give you 53 protection. The way the damage system works is just pretty simple when it's a crit. Um, it's just like damage minus protection. So these guys do 60 damage, I have 53 protection, so I take 7 damage a hit. But if you attack with a weapon and it's not a crit, then you do way less damage. I think like one tenth as much damage or something like that and so that in in effect means that you basically always just do the minimum damage of five that's a melee combat in the beginning in the game especially is uh, kind of random at the start you only have 10 percent chance to crit Later on in the game, you're gonna have like close to 100% chance. 
right now we're at 36 percent mm. 500 like 400 and um a little bit less than 500 get the goblins first or we get i guess the boars first fine by me boars are also a addition in the expansion and it's just in the base game They're kind of uh, tough in the beginning, but later on, not so much. We go. Have that. I wonder if you can actually face the stone statue thingy. Probably better not. Take those. Nothing there. Okay. Already have to level up. But we'll go ahead and uh, get our soup. Don't forget to do it later because the soup gives us permanent plus one strength. Always nice to have that. We won't be able to take it uh, or to use it right away, or we we shouldn't use it right away. We want to get more strength, and the the way uh, my skills work in this game is you have uh, learning points. You get ten learning points whenever you level up. They can uh, go to to train us and um, exchange learning points or to increase your abilities and for these numerical abilities it's like strength and dexterity and um, uh, mana and the combat abilities at the start you just pay um, one learning point for like each point in the ability and then once you are above 30 you start paying two learning points point and then three when you're above um above 60 and um, four when you're above 90. so what you want to do is you want to um keep uh, you want to hold on to your bonuses and use them later And then we're just going to be more efficient. We're going to get like more strength and whatnot in total. There's also a shadow runner, or whatever it's called in English, in this forest. You need to be careful here. As you can see, nothing to be had there. These guys also sometimes hunt each other, but it's kind of cool. Let's get the soup. Oh. 
Go here. What are you doing here? I'm hungry. How could I refuse the request of a representative of Inos? Do you really think? Can I have some more of your stew? I haven't got any now. Not even a tiny bowl? No. Can I lick the pot then? Will you cut it out? No if you're so keen on my stew, you'll have to do something to get it. What? Go see Sagita, the healer who lives behind Sekov's farm, and bring me a package of her herbs. If you bring me the herbs, I'll make you some stew. Okay. Fair enough. Mm, let's get a little bit of sleep. And then... I will... Like a brief stint at the monastery and then we can finally go to the Valley of Mines. Keep delaying this. Hmm... Oh, actually, 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 I want to get um, into that cave. Like a dexterity potion in there. Oh, I did it. Okay, I did that already. I did that already last time. Okay. Never mind. Also a bunch of stuff you can farm there, but we've wasted enough time. Get on with the story. So we've already been streaming for almost an hour and a half and we still haven't gotten into the Valley of Mines. Definitely want to do that. ASAPly. Well, there's some. I th there's still some, some herbs in there. I already did this. Okay. There's some healing plants. Why not? Okay. I've got no time for things like that. Let's get going. Healing roots, why not? Okay, so we'll spend, th I think it's only three points to get the um, goblin skeleton. It's pretty worthwhile. Hmm. Have any gold? All right, let's. A little bit of praying. Forty six mana right now. Also, in case we do need some extra mana, we can also use the uh, the ring that we've got for an extra ten mana. But not needed right now. I'm really rather confused by Mr. Iskarot there. Hey. Why is he not offering us any May anything to buy? Definitely supposed to be a merchant. So, alright, we've got four speed potions, should be more than enough. 
Uh, we're not going to spend too much time in the Valley of Mines. Um, the summoning guy is in here. Hey. That's him, I think. Teach me. Show me. Okay. Do we need for that? Do we have a? Don't we lack in the spell scroll? Okay. Hey, you need to buy a show me your... uh. show me your... enough gold for that. What can we sell? Now we should have it. There we go. Okay. What does it cost? 20 mana. Not that cheap. That's just what I said. Okay, time to go finally. And yeah, I since ever since I turned on subscribers only mode, and I'm not getting any of these um fan messages, so that's a good sign. I've, I've turned on that you just, just have to be. There's no like a time restriction. Like you can just subscribe and then just start chatting. Um, not really doing it to uh, to incentivize people to subscribe. Although I don't mind if you do. Um, but more, most just to get rid of these uh, spam messages. Apparently the spam bots have not figured out that you can just text subscribe and then. Keep chatting your nonsense. All right, let's go to the Valley of Mines. I could have actually spent those uh, the seven uh, the points that I have. Never mind though. I'm fine. Don't waste any more time. Great, there we go. And once you have some um, skill with two weapons, they're actually usable. Nothing, Nothing in there. there. Without any any points in there, they're just gonna look really bad. So slow. Okay, more boars. There we go. Let's take on these scavengers. Yeah, how much text do I have? Do I have enough? Not enough. 
one not enough dexterity points kind of an awkward translation nothing to be had there was originally this is a German game this luck is not a big problem but I don't know fight more than one creature at a time if I get nerfed it Not very aggressive. Okay, get the crit right away. And now we can go through here. Are you sure you want to go in there? I'm afraid you won't get very far. The orcs are on the other side. If there's a way into the Valley of Mines, I shall find it. Good, then go. Go within us. Also a stone tablet. All these stone tablets give uh, permanent bonuses. So they're quite important to, um, to pick up. But we can't read them yet. We're gonna have to learn that later. That costs uh, learning points, so for now, we're gonna hold off on that. Nice wolf pelts here. And oh, secret passage. Oh, I'm so smart. Actually, draw his weapon properly. Nothing there. Let's eat, eat some of these uh, mushrooms. Mushrooms are healthy. Also filled with umami and nitric. Goblins here, if I remember correctly. Oh, that's pretty good. This would be really annoying to have to fight with regular weapons to kind of swarm around and be different, different sides. You got some. Dark mushrooms. What are they called? Dark mushrooms. Um, I don't think we can open this. I know nothing about yeah. picking locks. Yeah, this though. Nothing there. I could, could um, kill his wolf stone there as well. We'll do that later. Hold on, do we we have a where is it sleep? Okay. We'll need that later. Young wolves are really weak. Nothing to plunder. Nothing there. 
Okay. Also, it's lock picking. Anything back there? No. We will save for safety. We're not gonna reload it in case we die or something, but it might might happen that the game crashes or something like that, and then and then I'm not above reloading. Under those circumstances. Okay. Now we're in the Valley of Mines, and for extra dramatic effect, it's night. Oh, okay. Another cutscene. That's the old camp. Yep, looks like a dragon the wheel. Right, here's a nice teleport rune. We can put in here somewhere. What do we put that at? Um, A8. Where is it? 8. And this allows us to return back here. And we have 21. Enough. Basically, the idea here is that we need the Eye of Innos because we need to confront the dragons that have come to the Valley of Mines. But Lord Hagen, the Chief Paladin, is only prepared to, to give us the Eye of Innos if we. Um, if you go here to the Valley of Mines and tell him about how the... Get some evidence that the dragon is actually there and... Um, and yeah, that's that's our objective here. Talk to this guy. What are you standing around here for? I come from the castle. They sent me to look for those missing and to check out the area. Those missing? Some fled when the dragons attacked. Most of them didn't make it. No surprise there. But if there are any survivors left, I'll bring them back. What do I need to know about this area? If you want to live, go back to wherever you came from. The green hides have laid siege to the castle for weeks now. And those dragons are hiding out somewhere too. The entire Valley of Mines is teeming with orcs. No matter where you're headed, this won't be a picnic. Can you help me get into the castle? Sure, but you have to do me a favor. If you can make it to the castle, talk to the paladin Auric. 
Tell him that his brother bought it up there at the pass. How can I get into the castle? First of all, you can forget the direct path. But if you walk around the castle, you might have a chance from the back. You should stay away from the paths and use the river. It will be best if you swim downstream for a stretch. It should be easier from there. The orcs have set up a ram behind the castle. You can get in that way. Creep up on the orcs as closely as you can, and then run for it. You might just make it if you're fast enough. Okay, let's do that. Let's do just that. Take out some of these lesser foes. And then over there in the river you see some orcs. And these at the moment are way too strong for us. But they're not gonna attack us over here. Let's see. Warriors, shamans, orc elites even. Swamp beat, never a bad thing to take with us. We can get some experience for that later. When we're in Jakanda, and growing experience. Which is nothing to sneeze at. Alright. Look at these lurkers. I think I'm just going to grab more because of their reach. Makes this fight pretty easy. Let's eat some of this blue elder. Both HP and mana. Try to move this up one at a time. I'm taking quite a bit of damage. Holy shit. Okay. Let's see the healing scroll. What HP do I have in total? 225. Okay. Mm, take on some of these. 
Scavenger boys. Nothing, Nothing there. Yet there. Nothing there to be had there. Nothing to plunder. Nothing to be had there. The meat? It's even a quest to involve some meat here. I think it's chapter 2. Aggro this without aggro any, any of the orcs. I'm going to see whether it's a regular wolf there or a Varg. The Varg is supposed to be much more stronger. Regular wolf. Healing potions. So we'll make it to this dark forest. Like a pretty narrow path in which we will only meet relatively weak opponents. Boars, also acceptable opponents, of course. Okay. Nothing to be had there. Some nice wolf skins. Nothing to plant, nothing, nothing to there. there. Okay, so I've hugged this edge here of this little crater. There's some more wolfies. Just one. Since we can't afford to die, we need to be careful here about which path we take. some orcs I think this is the orc ram um wait how do I go go to first person view
past that. Options. Controls. First person F. I have to see here in the night. Oops, I got an orc. I would like to get um, their feet wet. Probably a bit overkill, but I think we'll just use a speed potion here. Actually, I'd really rather rather save those. Ah, no, we'll do, we'll do it anyway. We'll do it anyway. No, let's go for the ram. No, okay, there it is. I've done this without speed potion. But yeah, safety first. Hey, you were damn lucky when you came in. Then I guess I should be glad that you. Hey, you. Um I knew it. I knew that someone would succeed. Have you come over the pass? Our messenger managed to get through then. No, your messenger didn't make it across the pass. I've come by order of Lord Hagen. The cursed orcs. Well, Commander Garand will certainly want to speak to you. You'll find him in the large building guarded by two knights. Where can I find gear here? Tandor hands out the weapons. Angor, the steward, is responsible for everything else. What about magic supplies? We are equipped with spell scrolls. If you want some of them, let me know. Who can teach me something here? Talk to Milton. He's the only magician here. Show me your spell. Show me... Um, I don't need any, don't need any of that right now. Ooh, snapper weed though. It's also quite expensive. Um, let's first just stop. Who are you? The question where I come from is much more important. I came across the pass, so are you going to stop me now, or can I go in? Well, I couldn't know that. Of course you're allowed in. Of course we're allowed in. Where do you come from? You aren't one of the scrapers, and you aren't one of my people. Well? I've come across the pass. Over the pass? You actually got through? By Inos, why have you taken this path upon yourself, magician? I come from Lord Hagen. He wants me to bring him proof of the presence of the dragons. And you've just come here to get it and, and disappear again? Well, that's what I had in mind. So he wants proof. He can have it. But I can't send you back to Lord Hagen without giving him information about the ore. Listen. Lord Hagen absolutely must learn what the situation is here, and how much ore we've mined up to now. All right. What do you want me to do for you? I've got three units of scrapers out there, but they haven't sent me a single nugget. Visit the mining sites and report back to me how much ore they have stored. Then I'll write you a letter that you are going to take back to Lord Hagen. Oh, well, I guess I have no choice. I need some equipment. Talk to the magician Milton here in the castle. He knows about the things you'll need. Where can I find... Here, take this map. If you have any more questions, ask... 
Okay. And we'll talk to Milton. Alright, we'll take it. Look who has returned, our hero from the barrier. Good to see you, Milton. You here again? Again. After the barrier collapsed, I entered the monastery of the Magicians of Fire. But once it was clear that the Paladins wanted to come here, my experience and knowledge of the place proved to be quite useful. So they decided then and there to entrust me with the holy mission of providing magical support to this expedition. Do you remember Gorn, Diego, and Lester? Of course I remember the boys. Of course boys. I remember the boys. Well, Gorn and Diego didn't get far. They were picked up by the Paladins here in the valley. Lester has vanished, though. I have no idea where he's hanging around. I've met Lester. He's with Zardas now. One bit of good news, at least. Well, I have nothing pleasant to report. Where are Gorn and Diego now? Well, Gorn is sitting here in the dungeon because he resisted arrest. They assigned Diego to a troop of scrapers. Ask the paladin Parcival. He assembled the groups. Let's go and free Gorn. Well, the problem in this matter is that Gorn is a convicted prisoner. But if we're lucky, Garand will agree on a deal and we can buy his freedom. Yes, maybe. Keep me in the picture. Mm. Can you teach me something? I can instruct you in some magic from the second circle of magic, or I can help you to increase your magic power. If you feel ready to increase your power, then I can instruct you. I want to learn some new spells. You have not yet reached the second... Um, we don't need the second circle right now. Hmm... Can you give where am I supposed to get that? So what is the, the paladins came here with the intention of but with the dragon attacks and no Bayanos. I feel the presence of something dark. We okay, paid a high whatever. price for the annihilate. We can all count ourselves. Hey. How much ore have you How much ore? Not it this Okay. Um, did we get the rune here? No, we didn't. There's a rune here so we can return to the castle. I know nothing about picking locks. Okay. So now I need to get out and... Get to these dig sites. Maybe run through here. Ah, it's probably safer just to press it on eight. I want to go down here. A nice little leather satchel here. And then we go back to the pass. Because that's just safer. Everything is tin with orcs, so we need to be careful where we step. So 
something over here. There's, there's a dragon snapper, which is equal to the, the does 200 damage, so it would two shot us right now. Not very pleasant. It also has 400 HP. There's no magic resistance, so we can actually kill it with magic quite effectively. But it would cost us a bunch of valuable scrolls. I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> I wonder if the goblin skeletons are any good against um, against snappers. They should actually be quite good against snappers. Don't goblin skeletons have like 75 protection or something, I think. And snappers only do 6 damage, I think, so they should do quite well against snappers. So we're probably going to use some skeletons here. Goblin skeletons. Just go the same way again. Um, yeah, let's go this way again. I think we are cleared earlier, but then we're just going to go past the castle. And then we can pick up Diego. Oh, there's some mushrooms here still. When you're playing this, this during the day, it's uh, just much easier to see. During the night, it's kind of hard to see opponents from far away. was also why the game turns into night when you enter the Valley of Mines. Makes everything a bit scarier. Come on. No crits there. It was the last one might have been a crit, but um, doesn't matter. So, right, our quest now is to go to these three uh, dig sites. Get information on how much ore they've collected. And then we're done here. Are we not to pick up this mushroom? Okay. Even this one. Alright. The orcs are after us yet. So, let's see how much this Goblin Skeleton is going to do against the Snappers. Ah, just decently. No, not too bad. Another one here. Now we don't need it. Hello? Yeah, throw my weapon, please. There you go. Nothing to plunder. Nothing to plunder. Um, out of feeding potions. Get some healing roots then. And mana. Okay. Nothing there. Uh, that skeleton that definitely was useful.
some orcs on the plateau so we don't want to go up there but we can walk past Hold on a second. Okay. Okay. Dalton against wolves. I'm at me wolves. I'm trying to eat that corpse. What's my skeleton doing? I'm stuck there. Nothing to plunder. Nothing to be had there. Nothing there. Olaf with his bag of coins. I know nothing about picking locks. Oh, there's a fear rune. Yeah, that's gonna be useful. Don't have the third circle yet, though. Once I do, that's gonna be a nice addition to my collection. The fear rune does is just uh, forces all nearby enemies just to run away. Quite valuable. Okay, got some wolves over there. Oh, it's just regular old uh, lizards. that they're not fire lizards those are a bit too tough for me i think i just wanted them one at a time we'll do a decent amount of damage to me i think we do like 80 damage yeah, you can see he does a decent amount of damage to me but if you take them one at a time you can defeat them Without too much trouble. Nothing there. to lurk as they are kind of cowardly and to uh, go back a lot so having range against them is very useful oh, let's eat some digger meat But 17 learning points. Not too shabby. Just uh, talk to Diego. Get his assistance. Getting good luck here with the crits.
Oh no, that, that, that's not by Diego, it's, never mind, it's this here. The um, this camp. Okay. Alright, we'll need to... Actually, I want to talk to Diego first. And use Diego to tell, help me take out some of these... Beasties. Where's Diego? Oh, he's in there, in that, that cave, okay. Alright, take on these blood flies. Here we go. Got a nice goblin berry there. Now we can actually use this bow. That's gonna help us. Nothing there. Nothing to plunder. Take on some of the smaller creatures with arrows. Especially things like blood flies. That kind of annoying to deal with with um, regular melee weapons. Hey, I thought you were dead. Yeah, so I was. But now I'm back, and I'm trying to prove that the dragons are really here. Who are you doing that for? I work for Lord Hagen. With the help of the paladins, the dragons can be stopped. The paladins? Let me tell you something. After I managed to flee from here, I went to Corinus. I wanted to warn the paladins about the dragons. Heaven knows why I even tried. That puffed-up Lothar didn't even listen to me, and certainly didn't let me talk to Lord Hagen. Instead... They sent me back here with the expedition, so don't talk to me about paladins. The important thing is to stop the dragons as long as there's still time, no matter who helps us achieve that. Stop them? We should get our asses out of this valley as long as we still have time for that. Say, how did you manage to get across the pass? I thought that it was swarming with orcs. There's a path through the abandoned mine which isn't held by orcs. That's good to know. Then I will head for Corinus before long. I've got a few old accounts to settle there. Okay. Listen, I need this proof. All right, I'll help you if I can, but I'm not going to stick my neck out for anyone. I'm traveling on behalf of Garand. He needs to know how much ore has been mined so far. And then he will give you the proof you want? That's right. So, can you tell me anything about it? There are four chests of ore here in the back of the cave. Silvestro's people mine them. Garand is welcome to come and get them, but I won't be here then. Okay. How did you come? I was with Silvestro's group. He said that well, and that. What do I need? Since the fall, we. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Do want some extra strength? How much points do I have? I also want some points for the second and third circle, that's 10 points. And I want um, skeleton and ice block, that's like another 40 points. But... I can't see the afford to, to hey. take anything in strength right now. 
Let's go to the past. You go first. You've only, but don't even think about also. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come. All right. Alright, that's the chests of ore. They're sparkling for some reason. And with the help of Diego, you can even take on the orcs. But that's a bit risky, so I'd rather not do that. I'd rather just take on some of the lesser beasties here. Some free wings, why not? to eat some digger meat okay I'll take on these snappers up here they're on the camp So there's like an optional quest where you can take um, and clear the snappers nearby, which I plan to do just because it's some extra experience. And once you take the quest, they also spawn some some new snappers. But if you kill the old ones first, you're not gonna have to do that many uh, uh, at the same time. So we can't go too close to the. Um, big side there, otherwise Diego is not gonna follow us any longer. I'll chase some more snappers. Okay. to be had there mm, don't beat why not anything over there not sure yeah. no I come up here Um, let's take another pouch. A satchel, I guess. There's a Belia shrine, which we don't need right now. And some skull balloons, why not? Is Diego going to follow me here? Okay, that one is closed. What's back there? Eat some mushrooms. The 
The Diego's not invulnerable, so he might actually die. Enemies are here, nothing. Really? Anything in here? Oh, a nice little bow. I'll take it. And the ring. And the wing. And the sting. What kind of bow is that? Oh, just like a... Same thing I'm already wearing. Okay, that's these fire guys. I don't want to get them mixed up with the fire lizards. They can be pretty nasty. Like a little bit of protection from fire, not nearly enough. This is the old tower of Zardas. He made himself scarce long ago, of course. I'm sure there must be some nasty surprises waiting in there. Go ahead and take a look around. I'll be waiting outside. Mm, yeah, let's take him with us. We don't want him to go in there. Hmm. I like the way that they sort of made uh, made Diego in this game. He's kind of, you know, he's he's willing to help us, but he's not willing to go into too much danger. So he's sort of he's a survivor, basically. He knows that he's like strong, but not, but he has his limitations. And so he doesn't fear going up against these mana critters or even against the the occasional orc. Well, he's not going to follow us into the orc ring, for example. Or into Zardas, in, the, in the Zardas Tower. Um, I don't think he's going to accompany us into the mine here either. Not sure though. Wait! Alright, he's not gonna go in there either. Um... So, let's just talk to... The Paladins in there, to the Snappers. That's for Jets, if you want to go there. Yeah, go in there. May Inas be with you. If I haven't come to bring news, then speak to Fajeth. About the... Yeah. It's still besieged. <sighs> Listen, a friend of mine is in the castle. I no okay. problem. Good. It's a minor quest. We just need to bring this ring to Uda. Actually, a ring we might might wear for a bit. We have um, forty three strength naturally. Probably rather have this twenty life. 
and three weapon protection. Hey. Yes, I come from the castle. Why? What's the situation there? No better than here. The orcs are still there, if that's what you mean. Damn, you're not safe anywhere. I'll tell you something. If I weren't scared shitless, I just beat it out of here. What are you doing here anyway? I'm the general dog's body here. Schlep stuff around, keep an eye on the snappers. Bill got here, Bill got there. Yeah, I should have just stayed home with my old lady. Wasn't any different there, but at least there was something decent to eat. And now I'm all that remains of the men at arms that were assigned to Fajith. How was I to know that this expedition wasn't gonna make it back? My pal Olaf made himself scarce. Maybe he pulled it off. I found Olaf. Now what's he up to? He's dead. The wolves ate him. Ah, oh, damn. I hope that at least I'll manage to get out of here. Let's talk to Fajas. Where do you come from? I'm here on behalf of Garand. Very good. I can certainly use new men. I am not here to assist you. No? Then why did you come? My mission is to find out how much ore you have mined so far. Honored magician. Your presence gives me and my men confidence. It would certainly be helpful to us if you could use your Inos given power for us. What can I do for you? For days. A horde of snappers has been roaming around our camp. Looks like they're just waiting for a good opportunity to attack. I don't know what they're waiting for. But as long as they're here, there's no peace to be had in the camp. That fed, above all the rest, is scared out of his mind and driving the other convicts crazy. So who should I send? Bilgot? Huh. He's a wreck too. And Tengron? Sure, he can fight, but he lacks the necessary guile. The only one who can do it is you. I want you to hunt down those damn beasts and kill them. Okay. Talk to Bogdan again. What do you know about the snappers? Why do you want to know that? And don't tell me. I'm going to hunt those snappers. That's crazy. I've watched them. Then tell me. Hmm. Yeah, I can help you. What do you want? If you manage to kill the snappers, I can't okay, take Okay, get him out of there, whatever. Uh, I knew I could count on They're very cunning. Okay, whatever. Let's get this. So, the deal is that's like a, a leader the snappers have. Maybe you can kill that one as well, instead of killing all the individual snappers. Whatever. And you promised to get him out of there, which we're probably not going to do. Nothing there. So, and the leader of the snappers is also the one we need for that uh, quest um, that what's his name gave us. You know, the merchant back in Corinus, Lutero. That's his name, Lutero. Give us that quest to get like a special snapper claw. Which we're gonna get from here. It's a pack leader, and he's just like a normal snapper, basically, like slightly stronger than other snappers. Okay. What are you doing, Diego? Oh, that's a nice chest. 50 gold. Too bad. I think there's a few more snappers. If the game spawned when I accepted the mission. I think most of them are up here. If you're a magician or a, a mercenary, this is an optimal quest. But if you're part of the militia, it's an obligatory quest. One less monster Nothing to be had there. It's still good to take it just for the experience. I think that's all of them. I 
I shall give that money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, Diego. Hey, you! The snappers are done for. Good job. We should be able to handle all the other beasts out there. Of course, he could just handle the snappers very easily himself. Got like a knight's armor, so he has 100 protection from weapons. Snappers will do minimal damage to him. Tell me how much ore you've mined so far. Report to Garand that so far we've only been able to mine two chests of ore. I've already taken too many losses thanks to the constant attacks. If Garan can send me more men, then we can mine more ore. I see. I'll let him know. Good. Then the rest is up to you. We'll hold the position here for as long as we can. Okay. So we'll need one more Alden to talk to. Then we can end this chapter. Let's see, what's the best way of getting there without running through too many orcs? Probably just go back the way we came. We've skirted around the orc ring with Diego. Hopefully, I'm not sure if this is actually possible. I'm not going to go through all the orcs. Definitely doable, but it's a bit risky. I'm going to melee come against a bunch of orcs. And I'm not do that. I can't really help it. And I can help it, just not doing it. <laughs> Magic four five skeleton. Okay, this is on eight. Nine is rain of fire. Emergency. Of the way mine pass. Okay, it's eight. Um. We go up here. Also orcs there though. Let's not risk it. Would be nice to clear those orcs. A quest later there where it would be easier to do that. If you cleared some guys now. Can we run through here? No? Suicidal, are you? Just stay well away from that castle. Uh, so we can't go through here. Hey, are you even listening to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Can we go here? What part of stay? Can we go? On this side? Is that possible? We can't continue here. The orc barrier is too dangerous. I think it would be better if we headed west again and walked around to the other side. Okay, whatever. Wait here. You've got to be kidding. Over my dead. We're going to the past. Um, whatever. We can't continue here. Yeah, you're walking around from the barrier. Come on, Diego. Don't be annoying. Um.
Yeah, we can't go there. Oh, it's kind of risky. It would be nice to, to clear some stuff with Diego, though. We could take a good amount of experience. Maybe we'll do it anyway, but we use some speed potions for safety. Because we're going to need a lot of experience once we're out of the well of mines. We get all the spells we need or want. Getting some nice orchids along the way would really help out. Kind of risky though. But if you use speed potions, it should be okay. Hopefully. Okay, there's some wags there. Okay, three speed, three speed potions should be enough. Do this quickly. We'll engage the wogs. Oh, what did he do so much damage? We want to engage the wogs. Okay. One less monster around. All very deadly. All right, we'll try to aggro these from a long distance. It's a shaman, though. So I've got you after all. All right. This is really dangerous. Want to aggro these one at a time if possible. Get them in melee so that uh, Diego can shoot with his bow because that's gonna do more damage than his melee stuff. I'm gonna aggro more than one orc though. Oh, I do so much damage to the crit. Okay. Up to you, Diego. Okay. Diego's also taking a lot of damage there. Nothing there. Don't you have enough potions to share with Diego? You can give Diego some potions, but I'm very low on potions myself. Okay, I we'll to aggro these from as far away as possible so we can only so we get one Brody at a time. Diego does a lot of damage as long as he can use his bow. Oh no, we got both of them. Oh my god, Diego goes into melee. Not supposed to happen like that. Okay, we get one hit there, and we got hit once.
There was another crit. Oh my god, this one was, was a crit. Oh my god, Diego. Drinking stuff. Diego. Uh, drinking all the healing potions. Okay. This is kind of nerve wracking. Do this healing. And. Drink the mana potion. Nothing to be had there. Nothing there. At least we get some healing potions from the orcs. Nothing to be we had need there. To really Nothing watch there. out that we aggro them one at a time. If you hit them from maximum distance with something like a spell, then you can um, draw them out one at a time. Because nothing can aggro to you beyond maximum distance. If you hit them at maximum distance, you can only have like one in, in range. And only that one is going to attack. We have speed potions one off. So we need a second one in a second. They took also a lot of damage from the snappers. And I kind of need to go to the loose, so I'll do that. Sack. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. There's something eerie about this old tomb. Let's rather walk around it. Okay. Let's walk around it then. Um, already have 27 million points. Okay, we need like 50 ish. I think it's like 45 or 50 that we need. Right, there's a wag there. We will use another speed potion then. Okay, it's just a blood fly. One less monster around. Please do so much damage. Walks are quite easy to take out in the range combat. Doesn't have very much um, defense against its arrows. They do 150 damage. 
Protect him. Right, some goblins. Nothing there. There's more orcs here to the right, but I'm not going to take those right now. They're not required to get through here. Oh, oh blood flies here. Okay, there's a nice little... Hello? A nice little scroll here. Not scroll, but stone tablet, as well as some goblin berries. We can eat in a sack. I just sort of hurry up while my speed push is still active. Um, hold on. Can we go over, over here? Yeah, we can. Okay, let's eat the goblin berries. And let's get one healing potion. A bunch of bandits here. Here we can take on reasonably well you're in for it now so much for you low life so much for me much for him rather hello diego can you just like look at these Die, people bastard. there we go die bastard eh So an arrow go past there, but nothing is there. Or just a graphics bug. You get those sometimes. Nothing there. Okay. Go in the middle of the fray here. Diego is gonna clear everything with his bow. Nothing to plunder. Also, where the last the evidence for the last dick side is. Nothing to be had there. Nothing. Nothing plunder. to be had there. Okay, my speed potion's already gone. Only have one left now. Put on his leather bag. The quest a little bit later. I know nothing about picking locks. Halt in the name of Inos. I am Marcos, paladin of the king. Say what you want and speak the truth. A chosen of Inos always speaks the truth. Forgive me, reverend magician, 
I did not realize with whom I was speaking. Yes, all right, never mind. If I am permitted to ask, what brings you to this area? I come from Garand. He needs to know how much ore is ready for transport. Tell Garon that I had to leave the mining site because the orc attacks became too intense. I tried to reach the castle with a few people, but I am the only survivor. I have stored the ore safely. There are four chests. Go to Garon and report that to him. Tell him I will guard the ore with my life, but I don't know how long it will be before the orcs find me here. Tell him to send me some support. I'll let him know. Wait a minute. How's the situation? <laughs> I shall hold out, and I hope that Garon will... Like this last time, like, I opened, how are things, you know? Hey. A nice sword. I know nothing about picking locks. Um, I think if I sleep here, Diego's gonna be gone in the morning. So I just try to keep going here, use healing potions. It's all low on them though. Oh, nice more extra mana. What mana do I have now? 51. Not too bad. Oh, there's one more field raider. Okay, you can't go up here either because there's the also the orc ring. Also meat bugs. Some extra experience. Nothing there. Nothing there. Have to escort Diego again to uh we have to make another um Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there. Get Diego to safety. How how far will he go here? The probably not very far. Maybe you can get this one swamp pad or something. No. This swamp is a dead end. I wouldn't be surprised if there's even a dragon lurking inside. Let's not go in there. Hmm, you guys got, got good instincts. Is indeed where we're gonna fight a, a dragon. Yeah, I just wanna pick up this freaking healing root. Shut up. Alright. Come with me, Diego, if you wanna live. Did I clear that, that cave yet? I'm not sure. There's another convict here. Uh, I don't think we did, we, got, we weren't in there yet. Like a couple of goblins here. Diego insists on going melee combat. Okay. Always important to loot these goblins. They might have um, dark mushrooms, which are important for mana. And these do not, but they had some gold. And to some extent, the loot, the loot here is random. Like which which black, whether there. black goblin is going to have like uh, they they can have like a, a a couple of different things, but which which each exact goblin has is random.
Okay, we continue here. And then we go to, to that one forest. Where I think there's also a couple of orcs there, so it's also not going to be easy. We're going to use our last speed potion for that. That's nibbling on the dead convict. Where was Diego? Where did that boy go to? Alright, he's stuck here. Alright, some goblins. There's nothing here yet. Just some goblins. some snappers here which we can take out I think yeah I wouldn't normally take on this many snappers alone but we have Diego with us so where's Diego but where are you Diego okay gonna make it out of here not sure where Diego went but Oh, he was right behind us. Uh, okay. Teleport to castle. Right with this, and this is seven. Up to the castle where you can sleep for a bit, and then we'll look for Diego. That was kind of strange, though. I thought Diego was right behind us. Wait a minute. Hey, how are you? How do you think I'm doing? I spent a whole day and yesterday and go short and dark or we'll all be killed by Who but to Angle actually is gonna be he likes to sleep in. We'll sleep to noon to talk to Angle. And give him some meat. Ah, so you're the guy who made Yes. Great. I'm Angor. I manage this expedition. Just don't get the idea that I give anything away for free. But if there's gold in your pockets, I'm always willing to cut a little deal. You're the one who deals out the rations or so I've heard. That's right. Why? Should I feed you now too? If there's anything you want, you'll pay for it. Just like everyone else. Maybe I can help you with your work. Hmm... Sure. So, when our food supplies are low, so if you could get us some meat, raw or cooked, ham or sausage. 
Oh, okay, some meat. Two dozen chunks of meat would help me. Okay. Here, I bought you something. Great. You brought enough meat. That'll do for a while. But don't get the idea that I'll. Show me your. Um, got a bunch of crossbows. It can also be kind of useful here, but I don't really have much money. Demon scroll is going to be useful later on. Um, also sell some random stuff here. One-handed weapons. We don't need those. Both axes going. We have got a decent amount of, of, of money now. We can also go ahead and actually free Gorn now. And I'll we'll buy this one. Buy this. Always going to be useful. Um, kill all the mages. Which mages? There's like one mage here and he's invulnerable. So now I'm not going to kill him. Anyone is a betrayer, it's Diego, who was supposed to help us, but then just disappeared. I've got no time for things like that. That'll only cause more trouble. I talked to Faith. What has he got to tell me? His people have mined two chests of ore. Hmm. Two chests? I don't need two chests. I need two hundred! He wants me to tell you that he needs more men. What? I'm supposed to send even more men to certain death? He can forget it! I always act in the name of Enos. About Silvestro's mining site. Did you go see him? Did you talk to him? Everyone's dead there. They were surprised by mine crawlers. What about the ore? Do you know how much they've mined? They managed to secure a few chests first. They're in a cave, along the path from the castle to the mining site. Damn! Enough problems. Those were a lot of good men. May Yinos have mercy on their souls. He should have known better. I want you to let... I can't let him go. He has committed many crimes and they must be atoned for. Can I pay his penalty? That might be a possibility, but certainly not a cheap one. That's a lot of... Gorn also had... Okay, um... And then I've met Marcos as I've well. Met Marcos. And what does he have to report? How much ore does he have for us? Four chests. He's left the mining site to take the ore to safety. Now he's guarding the chests in a small valley behind the lines of orcs. He's asking for reinforcements, however. What? Only four chests, and he left his mining site? Damn! That isn't good. And now he wants more men? Well, fine. I'll send him two people. Damn! What's going on out there? Has Beliar himself come to wipe us out? My men are almost all dead, and with the bit of ore we have, we can't even stop one orc, let alone an army! This expedition is doomed to failure. No one must violate the divine order. What about the letter for Lord Hagen? We have ten crates of ore on the hull, and we've lost twice as many good men. You shall have your letter. Lord Hagen must hear of this. This valley is cursed. Evil abides here. Anything's possible. What are you planning to do? I've tried everything. You're my own. Do we'll continue really to stand. Okay, we'll get to talk to Milton. He can chip in some money to free Gorn. Can these tell me anything? What's your? I'm a strategic. We. Yeah. Blah blah blah. A message for him. I here. have a message for you. What is it? Your brother is dead. He got as far as the pass. My brother? Enos put me to a severe test. But he died as his servant. This news. 
is like an arrow which pierces my heart. I shall seek new strength in prayer. Hey, you! How's the situation? The camp is surrounded by orcs. They've really dug themselves, but even more... Um, okay, whatever, whatever. Yeah, okay. Dr. Milton, I will be gone. And then maybe we'll find Diego again. Diego the betrayer. Some don't even know how wicked they are. Nobody will learn anything from me. Kill all the inner smashed mages. I'm a mage of inners myself. Hey. There's this guy, but he's my friend. Garon wants 1,000 gold pieces for Gorn. A nice sum. I can chip in 250 gold pieces. Teach me the second circle of magic. This is normally the privilege of the teachers, but I think that in this case we can... I don't know if I quite re... Enter now the second circle. Uh, it will show you the way, but your deeds form the path. Or something along those lines. I think you understand what this is all about. I want to learn some new spells. Um, yeah, no, I don't need those. Okay. If 32, uh, we need a little bit more experience, actually. Hey. What do you want? How's I forge the way? Okay. Hey. We're in the night. What's Angor handed out a new ration? Okay. Kill everything you see run in Fall of New Vegas. Done it before. Okay. Have enough gold. To free our old friend Gorn. Not sure if it's, if it's even worth doing it, but we'll do it anyway. For all time's sake. I want to buy Gorn's freedom. Agreed. You can go to Gerald and tell him to release. Set Gorn free. That's an order from Commander Garand. I've already been informed. Here's the key. You can go in. All right, people, in and leave the dungeon door open, as you do. Free all the prisoners. <laughs> Oh, well, they're not gonna go. Only one is gonna go. Enough of this lounging about. You're free. It's about time somebody got me out of here. I certainly hadn't expected it to be you, though. It's damn good to see you. Garon says you eat too much and he can no longer afford to feed you. Now that you mention it, I could kill a couple of beers. Let's get out of here. I've seen enough of this cell. Okay, see you with Milton. Sure thing. Um, what is here? I think this guy can keep teach me strength later. Hey. What's it? My job? Try ups. Could you? Tr sure, I can help you. Be How much do you want? What we end? Do you know where Den is far away? Or the fourth door? Nothing. Nothing special in there. Anything new? Everything seems. Don't touch 
it's no point actually opening the stores, just doing it for fun. By the way, I've, uh, I can now summon stuff. But yeah, it's not no match for the knights here. Nothing to be had there. Mm, I will sleep another day so that we can be fresh and so that we have plenty of time to reach the pass during daylight with Diego. Uh, I'm not sure if there's actually any point in speaking with Milton and Gorn here, but we'll do it. I always get nervous when I hear the sort of sound of someone drawing a sword. Because usually, in, if, if, if that happens in the in the, in the wilds, that's usually the, the indication that there's some sort of strong opponent nearby. Like a skeleton or something, or an orc. I've freed Gorn. Good. Then we should think about what happens next. It's kind of a duh thing to say when Gorn is standing right next to him. What are your plans? I shall return. I will wait for a while, but now that Gorn is free, I can leave with him. It is more than necessary that Pyrocar learns of the situation here. If you think so. I hope that Lord Hagen will recognize the threat that emanates from this valley. Not to think of what will happen if the orcs come over the pass. Well then, have a safe trip. Listen, I've loafed around here long enough. It's time I saw something other than this valley. How did you get over the pass? There is a path through the abandoned mine. Good. I'll wait for the right moment and then I'm out of here. Where will you go then? I heard that Lee is still alive. I want to join up with him again. We'll meet again. You can count on it. You already know what I think. Okay. How much until the next level up? Okay, it's still quite a bit. Five and a half K, roughly speaking. Um, let me just leg it here. Slightly risky. Should be fine though. One speed potion left. You want to get Diego out of here. Okay, orcs are gone, I think. Now, yeah, but these um, common skulls are actually kind of useful. Are they? They. They're, they're kind of like um, they're they're very strong against, against weaker things, but very weak against stronger things. But then they're actually kind of useful against some of the the strongest opponents in the game because you can just like cast a lot of them. So for example, if you go up against a troll, they are actually kind of kind of decent because you can just summon a lot of them, and then um, because everything in this game does a minimum damage of five, so. Even against a really powerful opponent, the goblin skeletons are still going to do five damage each. So you have, if you have lots of them, you can still take down the, the most powerful opponents. I probably Diego is going to be in his cave again. Just to fetch him again from there and. Go to the pass with him.
Oh, he's not in here. Well, I, I made this mistake already. He's in there. Open his role play. Not really. Okay, there he is. Okay. Hey, you. Yeah, so Diego is basically our oldest friend. He's the one who sort of greets us in the beginning of the first game and sort of shows us the ropes. And I want to get out of the battle of mines so we can he sort of accompany us, but Diego is a smart cookie, he doesn't want to go up against hordes of orcs, so that's like very specific uh, paths you have to take um, when you're with him. Otherwise, you'll just complain and, and stay back. Already cleared this. There were lots of orcs here earlier. So Where where are you? Where's Diego? Come on. Throwing it some sort of obstacle. Ah. Hello. Here I am. AI in this game is not the best. Yeah, so this whole area is basically um, from Gothic 1. Like we return to the Valley of Mines. This is. area exists in the same way in the, in the first game. Although, of course, all the opponents and so on are, are different here. The sort of icy area is where the, the new camp used to be. The fact that all this ice is sort of a clue that there's going to be an ice dragon there over the spoilers well, there's, someone to build. there's not someone to build I can summon things but there's not someone to build I can summon these goblin skeletons right now. And later on, I'm also going to learn how to summon uh, regular skeletons. That's also actually going to be fairly soon. But when I'm, when I'm with Diego, it doesn't make sense to summon anything. Because like, Diego is just going to attack the stuff I summon, or, and, and, and my summons are going to attack him. Uh, yeah, there's no summoner build. There's a, a you can you can make like a mage, and then there's like certain spells you can you can get, and the spells cost learning points. You can't find it on the summons. Well, you can, kind of, but it's not really a build. It's just like not using other spells. It would be like, I don't know, playing Nature's Prophet as a summoner build and then just never using teleport and, or ultimate because you're a summoner. Doesn't make any sense. One less monster around. Oh, they're all going after. Here you go, it's not good. Come on. Snappy, snappy. Thing about Diego is he has lots 
and lots of HP. Nothing there. But his armor is not very, very good. Seems like Snapper is actually still kind of dangerous to him. You come up with some roleplay reasons for waking all these summons, I guess. But then I'm doing this 200 um, strength build here. So that doesn't make sense to use only summons. Also, if I'm literally only using summons, then it's gonna be really, really hard in the beginning. You can't you know, use summons until you're uh, you're a mage. Yeah, I'm also going for the behind the waterfall. Don't worry about that. I haven't forgotten about that. Halt! Who goes there? Do you ever come to send me back into the ore mines? Have you? Also a lurker in, in that cave. Then. There's no way I'm going back. No way I'm going back. What are you doing? Stupid question. Hiding! What else? I'm not Okay. Whatever. Um, does it have any who went through What's anything? Wrong with you? you have to important? ask that. These dead Okay, whatever, whatever. Do I hear What would you give? Hmm. Well, I found a blank rune stone. I would give it to you. Okay. The lurk great. Here Out of healing potions, only this one left. Kill these two hiding cowards. Hmm. What the you're in for it now. I'm not gonna kill him, I'm just gonna mock him, knock him down. God. <laughs> He deserved that. He deserved that. <laughs> he deserved that. He did deserve that. My head. I know nothing about picking locks. <laughs> Don't take the axe here. This the skeppard guy. <laughs> He's not getting it. My axe now. I was gonna ask if allies will leave your aid like in Formula. I don't quite understand the question. Bunch of mushrooms. I know nothing about picking locks. Okay. It's locked. Okay, we definitely take out these lurkers. Or we'll try to stay away from the orcs if possible. Yeah, I will try to avoid those. I 
We can probably take them on. We've killed some orcs to, uh, before with Diego, but it's kind of risky, so. Let's see if I can avoid them if possible. Yeah. here is these guys halt stop right uh, really another large little land i can see you probably not wanted it you look <laughs> so I come. You all look i'm not really gonna go through all these dialogue options I here Nothing too interesting there. Hey, not sure if they, if they have anything worth talking about. I think not. Let's skip everything here. Okay, nothing actually. Let's we'll take their posts though. I know nothing about picking locks. Okay, can we go like this, or is Diego gonna complain? Okay, he's with me though, so far. Okay, here's some goblins. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there. Um. Hey, are you even? Yeah, yeah. Shut up, Diego. I have to go back in the river again. Nothing to be had there. Can we cross the river here? I think there's like some dragon snappers as well here, I'm not sure though. It's just regular snappers. Regular snappers it looks like. I think we can take them on easily enough. One less monster around. All right. Got him. Oh, there's some dragon there's a dragon snapper there we want to avoid that subscriber only mod yes i found out that this actually keeps away the wait what are you serious you're not gonna go there either um i found out that this it keeps away the the spam bots that's why i'm using it Um, so how, can, how can I get past this dragon snapper? Look at the snapper first. One less 
monster around. Even with Diego, I'm kind of it's kind of iffy to go up against the Dragon Snapper. Yeah, quite strong. We get around it somehow. There's also orcs here. Let me go here. Uh, it's kind of far down. Can we go way way around there? Less the orcs though. Hmm. I have one speed potion left. What do we have in terms of magic for that? Dragon Snapper. Um, we have two fireballs. That's not enough. Two fireballs, more lightning. And then ice. That's not enough. Not nearly enough. Because Dragon Snappers did 200 damage a hit. Not to be trifled with. Oh, we can go up here. Can Diego follow? Where is he? Where did he go? Oh, we aggroed the orcs, okay. Not ideal. Oh, but the orcs. Ah, oh, they're kind of stuck up here. No. Oh, it's actually monster around. A perfect outcome. Taking out the orc without real risk. Never around the dragon snapper. So these are regular snappers, we can take them on. Come on, Diego, shoot it. There you go. Uh-huh, there's this corpse here. Then... I think if we've done it. I think we've done it. Okay. Past the Dragon Snapper. And we're still alive. Now we can leave the Valley of Mines and get into Chapter 3. points do we have uh, we almost we almost have a level up so we're gonna have 42 points and um, what do we need do we need like five for the third circle and then like i think it's like 20 each for ice block and and uh, summon skeleton so we really need like 45 so we need another level up after the one that we get in a sec. Okay. Right, here we are. I shall go the rest of the way by myself. I have a few things to take care of before I can return to Corinus. Thank you, my friend. I'll see you in town. Okay. And let's go to chapter three. Eye of Inos.
We can take these guys. When does the betraying start? Um, I don't know, in your imagination. Um, I was supposed to betray anyone. Kill innocent and all their followers. Only obel only obelisk is the true god. Not quite. Um, what you have? Have a sleep, right? Um, put this on seven. Doesn't work against him. Oh shit. Um, we just like use ice block and run past. These guys are pretty strong. Okay. Can't really fight them right now. Hey, you're finally back. You have to go see Zardis right away. There's a problem. That I certainly believe. All hell's broken loose since you left. Talk to Zardis. He's waiting for you. Zardis gave me this rune for you. It'll help you get to him faster. We'll meet again there. And now in the chapter 3 there's also like lots of more uh, scary opponents. All these black magicians are looking for me. Normally the one at the gate is supposed to talk to me, but I'd rather not talk to him. Um, alright, we'll have this one and this one, got a Zardas. Lester's a pedophile, I think so. I also think he's invulnerable. Can you tell me anything about... First, I suspected it might be a magical artifact, but I finally concluded that it is not of any great significance. I have not been able to decode the meaning of this tablet entirely, but it seems to concern the history of a very old culture. If you want the tablet, it's yours. I have no use for it. I'm back from the Valley of Mines. High time, too. What did you see? You were right. The land's been overrun by an entire army of the enemy. Orcs are besieging the castle, and dragons have laid whole areas to waste. It won't be long before they attack Corinus, if I'm not mistaken. The water mages have discovered a poor... Interesting. As soon as you find out something that is really helpful, be sure to let me know. The artifact of Belyar could be hidden somewhere there. Find it. Lester said you wanted to see me at once. What the hell has happened here in the meantime? The enemy has learned who you really are, and that you're planning to get hold of the Eye of Enos. He has recognized the threat. It has forced him to leave his cover and openly attack. The game of hide and seek is over. Yesterday, nobody knew what the enemy's attack would look like. Now it has become only too obvious. Okay. I finally got the proof that Lord Hagen demanded of me. What proof is that? I received a letter from Garand, the commander of the Paladins in the Valley of Mines. In it, he asks for reinforcements. That should be enough to convince that militant warhorse. Well done. What will be the next step now? Go and bring Lord Hagen the letter from Garand. Then go to the monastery and talk to... Nothing is more... Go now before it's... Uh, yeah. 
I was attacked by magicians in black robes. The enemy has many faces. The Seekers are one of them. They're really the ones who prepare the ground for the enemy. They have taken up their positions in strategic places and are now only waiting for an opportunity to spring the trap. Stay out of their way. They are very powerful magical beings and they will try to deter you at any cost. Okay. Ah, uh, might as well have a brief nap. Um, well, actually, go back to the pass. Try to avoid all the Seekers and the Dragon Snappers. A lot of nasty beasties here. But you can take on some of these things. And we didn't use the skeleton to do this. Oh my god, I got one of the. Um, One of the uh, seekers there. Not good. Okay, it's out of range now. Because the thing about the seekers is they, they can cast all sorts of nasty spells, including um, fire rain. That's like 500 damage and it's gonna insta kill us. Nothing. And the chance that they cast it is quite low, but it's not something I want to risk. Eat some mushrooms or the mana. I don't have enough mana for goblins currently. Just fight it the regular way. It's also in aggro range. Another problem with fighting them one at a time, but if it's more than one, it doesn't take too much damage. Need some more experience because we need like another level up where we can get all the magic we want. Like um we want summon skeleton and ice block because that's like the magic weapon that's gonna uh, destroy all the seekers easily. Nothing there. goal is going to be to do the expansion quests so they can get to the um, unknown part of the island, the Jakanda.
But before I pass to there, I want to get. Uh, I'll jump up here. I want to avoid the seeker. No. Oh my god, so annoying. The, the way jumping works in this game is kind of a bit strange sometimes. No, we can't go up there. Seriously. Okay. So some of these seekers first want to talk to us. Others just attack right away. This is one that wants to talk to us. I'm going to talk to you, to you there's like also a chance that you get uh, to put like some sort of debuff on you. So you feel stifled and that, that means that uh, you no longer benefit from resting. Which is a bit annoying. Um, we can... By the rune here. And that's the truth. No, oh, not enough gold. That's really not my problem. Um, I've got no time for this. Sell this. Sell this. 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 He insisted he knew better. I couldn't care less. It's a bad business. Um, we can also open up some of these. Bags. He thinks it's as easy as that. Nothing amazes me anymore. Do you know that? I've seen him here before. Back then, he moved into one of my upstairs. He had to be cut. Uh, then one day, even. Yeah. Okay. Show me. Certainly. Things like that. I never knew that. I couldn't. I can take this stuff. No one's gonna mind. You listen to the wrong people. Been there, done that. Ah, uh, let's just go to the monastery. No. Which man do I actually have? Not that much, actually. Once you get the jack, and we're gonna get a lot more uh, of these dark mushrooms. There'll be a lot of mana bonuses there. Mm, right, some wolfies. Is this guy still on offer anywhere? It's kind of strange. It's supposed to be a merchant. Hey. Supposed to sell some stuff. Bless me. I bless you and may inno strange. And you will get to the monastery. We'll also get a teleporter there. A teleport rune. Gonna help us move around. Well, are we actually gonna get that yet? Or do we have to get the letter from 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 uh Old Hagen first? I'm not like, entirely sure. Okay, so Pedro is still there. Third circle of magic. Yes, the time has come. Enter now the third circle of magic. New I spells await you. Before. You will need them, for evil draws nigh, and it can be thwarted you. only with the power of Inos. I have Any now taught you all of the circles that I can pass on. Karas will instruct you in the higher circles. 
may Inos protect you. Okay. Is it really true? You know what I think. Hey, you. Paras, get some more. Um... I want to learn the. F it is still. Mm. How are you? The enemy has many faces. Teach okay. Me. Oh, skeletons are uh, turning landing points. I thought it was 20. Only 10. It's a bargain. Can we create it? We have no skeletons, right? Yeah. Need to buy a scroll here. Hey. Show me. The way creating runes works in this game is you need the, like the appropriate uh, spell scroll and plus some other components depending on the rune and you can create them here we created a summon skeleton rune no back 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 and we'll put that on six Uh, we have still some learning points left. That only cause more trouble. Um Is there any I am an expert in the magic Okay, Ice and Thunder seems good. Do you really think? Teach me. Oh, it's also only ten. I it was twenty each, but it's only ten each, so it's actually a really, really good deal. We'll get ice block. I never knew that. Then we actually have still some some stuff left. We can increase our fighting abilities. So we'll have like. Alright, let's make. Oh, we need to create the rune first. Create the rune first. Hey, you! Show me. Oh, it doesn't have ice block. We have an ice block scroll, or we don't. Hmm. Does the other other guy have it? Maybe. The Gorax need a few things. I need a few. Hmm. Hmm. There it is, ice block. Do we have one of these room tables in our own room as well? It's like our own private chamber. There we do. Oh, we didn't we need something else. Um, let's sleep first. Not entirely sure what we need. I think it's like a glacier quartz or something. But we can look it up in the library. Or circle. No. Third circle. Sixth circle. The third. So that's the fifth. Third circle, okay. Ice block. We need the glacier, quartz, and aquamarine. Uh 
We have neither. We buy those. Hey. Show me. Show me. What? Show me your where. Okay. Where? The Gorax again. Maybe he can sell us that stuff. So we had I had some of these um, earlier, but we sold them probably. Okay, there's glacier quartz and but no aquamarine. Yeah, that's annoying. Yeah. Buy one anyway, they're so cheap. Hmm. Where do I get an aquamarine now? Hmm. Okay, we're gonna spend 17 points here. I'm ready for. A servant of in. Okay. We're at 44 now. Four of those are from the weapon we're carrying right now. Mm. Oh, can we get the the rune? Probably only after May enough. after we talk to Hagen. I've come from the old. The enemy has formed up there. We have already learned that from Milton. The mine they are digging for Garand in the valley can. The days are becoming. I was attacked by. I know. Those once possessed. I have asked Karas to look into this matter. He will certainly win some further insight soon, which can make us see clearer. Here, this rune will bring you directly oh, get the back to the there. monastery okay. nice. if you need. Our Remember, we must offer. Okay. I carry news of Lord Hagen. He was so I headed right down. Good. Since you already know the way to the valley, you are not. Take care of this matter for Lord. Okay. Any new? Not at the moment. Is there anything? No. Okay. But. Okay. Let's go to the to the city. And this way is probably safer. How much does the skeleton cost? 60 mana. We only have 60 mana. Wow, it's a lot of mana. We have to use our mana ring thingy. I forgot to let my to to um, talk to the alchemist to to brew me to, to brew some extra potions for me, extra speed potions. But we can do that in a bit. We're heading to the city now. Um, or actually, maybe we should head to Ona's farm first. And get like the the herbs so that you can get more of Tecla stew. Also probably should do the quest with the Greg. Let's do that quest with the Greg and then we can also mm,
What do you want from me? Are you still having problems with the city guards? I'll give you problems, you punk. I'm looking for a fellow. He isn't anywhere to be found in the city, and these losers here don't have a clue either. He's thin, dark-haired, and he usually wears red armor. As far as I know, he used to be a prisoner in the colony. I think his name starts with a D. You're talking about Diego. It could be that that's his name. I'm not sure. Could be. I probably only know when I see him. Anything else? Yeah, you big mouth. Is there something else? I need weapons, I need provisions, and gold wouldn't be bad either. Here's ten gold coins. <laughs> you poor sucker. You can keep your dough. I have a better idea. There's a cave not far from here. I've been around here before and I buried my stuff in a few places. The cave is too dangerous for me alone. I want you to help me with it. Let's visit the cave. Come with me. Okay, well, um... Mm. Take off this ring and use this ring. And then we can actually create skeletons. We'll try to avoid these seekers. Wasn't there a seeker here around somewhere? No? Oh, there he is. Walking the roads. Oh, it's actually goblin berries now. Didn't pick this up yet. All right, friend. Here's the cave. And here's a pick for you. I buried this stuff somewhere in there. X marks the spot. What are you waiting for? Go inside and get the stuff. What about you then? Someone has to guard our backs. And now, in you go. Okay, in we go. Okay, goblin skeleton is a goblin is the goblins. Is that poetic justice? Eventually, they brought it down. The thing about goblins, um, goblins they also have very low HP. Nothing there. And they're fighting against lots of small opponents, even if they're only doing minimum, da minimum damage, they're still not unreasonably quickly. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there. Nothing there. Nothing to plunder. Nothing there. Nothing, Nothing to, to be had there. Nothing to be had there. I think there's like a goblin warrior in here. No? Already dead? Apparently. Uh I think I've found something. I think I've found something. What took you so long? Yes, I give it here. Here you are. Great, so they're still there. You're not all that you okay, listen. Let's see. There's an there are two Okay, okay, okay. Let's suppose dig up more of this treasure. What the seeker? And we'll try to get as much of these delicious mushrooms as possible. All right. But so much for you, filthy beat. No experience for me there, unfortunately.
Oh, there's one X there. Something. Nothing there. Okay, pick up all the herbs. So kind of low on money. I think Goblin Skeleton should do quite well against these um, Field Raiders. Yeah, get away from here! Get away from here. You better run. Not want to aggro the, the seeker there. That one is still a bit too risky. Once we have ice block, we can deal with them. Ice block plus skeleton is like a, a combination. We need some more mana for that though. We need barely have enough for a for a regular skeleton. And that only with the rain. Once we are in, in Yakanda we can get a lot more mana. A lot of mana bombs is to be had there. Okay, my skeleton is dead. It's done its job though. Um, all these seekers everywhere. Oh, it's kind of unpleasant. Kind of annoying. Um, just go through this forest and get the herbs from Sagitta. All the seekers in there in the house now. We'll avoid that. Right, zombies, goblin skeletons. I want we'll avoid those for now. Something's attacking us. Just in the music. Okay, there's wargs in here as well now. A bit unpleasant. Be careful here.
there's a lot of skeletons. Ah, that's a problem with going to Act 3 earlier. Now teaming with stronger opponents. Hard to actually get there. We'll have to go from the other side. But first we'll talk to Lee and get the rune to be able to return there faster. Get scavengers, we can take those. But the beast is a bit strong for us though. Some of these guys on the edges here. I have to use my bow here, I think. No, not quite enough. He's made it open instead, then. Nothing there. Anyone nearby here? Can we just slaughter these sheep? It looks like it. Bah. 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 Uh, I think these are also unguarded. Kill them all. Also not been in that chapel. Some stuff in here as well that we can steal. All right. Also the crypta behind the house, where I can also go there's some um, like stone tablets there we can take. Goblin skeleton, what flies. Other squitch as well. Good. Black ore. Once you kill those script guards, there's actually like a shit ton of un undead thingies that spawn. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna take it's lying around here and get out of there. to talk to Lee and get the rune we can return here again blab 
Blabbermouth, you told Cypher I... It's good that you've come. What's up? I found this in the old chapel. It's a magic room. I think it will teleport you straight back here to the farm. I thought you might be able to use it. Why not? I've come from... So it's true. What about the... Pa they... Okay, okay, blah, blah, blah. Everything all right with you? You saved my ass, man. I'll never forget that. Right, you can sleep for a bit. I used to say that myself. Um, hold on, board. When I use the this ring, teach. I only train mercy. No, okay. Um, I think I, that's like some sort of con con um, some sort of conversation option with Lee, where he then sort of starts opening up to me when I have the. You entered the room. monastery. <laughs> you can't become a mercenary, but who knows? Maybe you can do one. We'll see. In any, but don't even think of pulling the wool over. Okay. What do you I might have known. You just have to mingle in everything, don't you? Come on. T Since the fall of the barrier, I am no longer bound to the agreement I came to with the water mages back then. Of course, I still help when I can, but most of the time, I have my own problems and barely any time for other things. If you want to know more about it, you should probably talk to Cord. He's one of them, as far as I know. Okay, that's... That's the thing. Nobody will learn anything from me. Teach me. I only train. Okay, never mind. Nothing. Nothing comes of that. All right. Mm. So do we have any aquamarines so far? No. Nothing. But we picked up some runes. Elbow runes. I'm sure I had an aquamarine at some point, probably hawked it off to some merchant. Will you look at what do you want? Playing the grand magician. I'll tell you something. No matter what you're wearing, I can see right through you. To me, you're just a greasy little idler, nothing more. You don't have to tell me that. What's your problem? I know people of your sort. All talk, no guts. I detest somebody who dresses up all important and brags about his heroic deeds. Just yesterday, I slugged one of the boys here in the mouth because he claimed he could bring down a black troll with one hand tied behind his back. So what? What's that supposed to mean? So what? Have you ever seen a black troll, Big Mouth? Do you have any idea how big those monsters are, man? If you just get one step too close to them, they'll tear you to pieces. He really should have known better. Black troll, no problem. You're asking for it, huh? I ought to rip your head off. But I've got a better idea. If you're such a great fighter, then prove it. What's in it for me? Stupid question. Your honor and your jaw in one piece? 
don't That's not a whole lot, is it? I'd have gotten hmm. differently. Shall we say, no I'll pay you a ton of money if you bring me the hide of a black <laughs> troll. How's that sound? Better. Then what are you waiting for? Okay. So, need to kill a black troll. No problem. Seekers everywhere. We really need an aquamarine. So we can make an ice block. Oh, it's already attacking me. I want to get too close there. So we need these guys. Can we just like try to solve in here? Let's fight them. Okay, Basta already killed him once. Alright, there's a lot of experience. Not bad. Nothing to be had there. And unsummon these guys just by clicking on them. I'm just gonna sleep here, refill our mana. And let's just get, get to the city. And I'm sure we can find like an aquamarine there. Oh, we yeah, actually, I forgot to use, we could, we could use the... Um, Teleports to to the tavern. That's my bad. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And with those skeletons, we can also take on a lot of these lesser creatures. Not really getting our hands dirty. And... It's, it's also actually... Um, if you like want to kill people in this game... Um, you actually run into some, some problems if you kill too many people. Then Vatras will get very angry with you. But... If you just let a summoned creature, like a skeleton, kill someone, it doesn't matter. Vatras doesn't care then. But so yeah, skeletons do good damage against um, the Seekers. But... They... Um, also die very quickly against Seekers, so that's why we need Ice Block and Skeleton. Take out the Seekers. Probably gonna be like a lot of mana usage that though. It's kind of necessary. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Okay, Mr. Zurus. Show me your Um Do we have an aquamarine? No, we don't. Ooh, divine power of the stars also useful to have. We even have elixir of spirit. 
what stuff I want to buy with this kind of short on cash right now. I don't believe that. We Beltran. Hey, you. Then it's gonna get even worse. Show me. They never should have let it get so far. Go now on. one of the mercenaries is actually something had to happen. Hey, he doesn't have it either. Go away. Don't tell me that. Annoying. That's what I've always said. I am hacking. Every okay, man. Okay, I've never actually interacted with this and guy. There you are. Harrod has fine that Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go away, don't tell me. Alright, let's talk to Lord Hagen. No one will want to do that. The Cavalon. But he knows me held what I was at your hut in the valley of mines. So it still stands. Did you find it? If you mean your pouch human. with the lumps of ore. Yes, I have it. You're a fox. You know that. Do you have it with you? I'll give you 100 gold coins for it. Portion of his divine power so that he sure. might Terrific. undo the work of Beliar. I hope that I'll get it back soon. And what? Beliar spoke to another Give me creature, 100 gold deal. You're a real tide, friend. And the creature was washed from the face of the earth. Okay. Um Okay, well, next but level up. It, the trees and animals were also washed away. And a deep sadness. You really didn't deserve that. That's all just gossip. Hmm. Yeah, we can get this um, claw to Lutero. I bring you news from Garand. Here, he gave me this message for you. Our situation is worse than I had feared, but report to me on the situation in the Valley of Mines. The paladins are holed up in the castle in the Valley of Mines, surrounded by orcs. There were many casualties in the prospecting operations, and there's barely any ore left. Well, I should say that without any help, the lads are lost. That's how it looks. I shall find a way to rescue this expedition. You have done much for us. Inos will thank you. I'm not all that interested in his gratitude. I want his eye. Yes, of course, I stand by my word. Take this letter. It will open the monastery gates to you. Speak with Pyrokar, the highest fire magician, and show him this authorization. He will grant you access to the eye of Inos. One more thing before you go. Take this rune as a token of my gratitude. It will take you safely back to the city whenever you want. Okay. Also, this guy. So I'm going to knock down. Reason that will become apparent in a moment. Diary of Cornelius. Something strange happened to me last night. I was visited in my home by one of those guys in black hoods we, we hear so much about lately. I wasn't really nervous, but even though they're supposed to be so evil, you could almost feel the power those men have. But the voice was calm and kind of and kind, and uh, was calm and kind of made you want to trust the guy. He offered me twenty thousand pieces of gold to make sure one of the mercenaries gets convicted. Mercenaries. Mercenary apostrophe S gets convicted. He said I'd know what he meant when it happened. Of course, I agreed right away. Those mercenaries don't deserve any better anyway. If it weren't for them, everything would be just fine for me here. And the gold will let me settle down to a comfortable retirement. It's happened. They've arrested one of those mercenaries. It should be easy to keep my word. So. Hi. 
How's the situation? I must find a way to... We must do... Perhaps the Eye of... What do you... It is a... However... I am a... Ch then... Oh boy, when, when, when can I get the dialogue option about the... Uh, about planets? What? Not sure. Uh, okay. Dr. Lutero, and maybe he has an aquamarine. Gotta be one here somewhere. Hey, you! I've got some special. My customer will be happy. I don't have the runestone here. On your way from town to the inn, there in a cave, a friend of mine has to. Show me your. Ah, Aquamarine. There you go. There we indeed go. That's the first I've heard of it. All right. We'll have known better. To the monastery. How did you get what kind of a question is that? I admittedly Okay. Now I can try to claim the eye of Inos. I agree with you completely. I have come to take the eye of Inos. I see that you have received an authorization from Lord Hagen himself to bear the Eye of Enos. I am afraid that I have to disappoint you. We have fallen victim to a treacherous plot of the enemy. The Eye of Enos has been violently taken from these sacred walls. Who could be so impudent, Master? Evil is cunning and usually works in secret. Only rarely do you see it emerge to pursue its evil machinations in broad daylight. But these days, it's a different matter. The enemy now shows himself openly in the street, in every home and every public square. This can only mean that he no longer fears any adversary and is not going to shrink back from anything. One of our most faithful followers, a candidate for the high robe of the Magicians of Fire, has changed his allegiance unexpectedly and in an alarmingly evil manner. Pedro, the enemy has taken possession of him, thus inflicting a terrible defeat upon us. Pedro has forced his way into our most sacred halls and stolen the eye. I fear that he simply spent too much time by himself outside of the gates and thus beyond the protective walls of the monastery, exposed to all lurking. He's literally dangers. standing there 24 7 without ever sleeping. Where Pedro knocked down some of the other novices who tried to stop him and disappeared into the morning mist. Many novices have gone after him to bring the eye back to its place unharmed. If you want to catch up with him, you need to hurry before Pedro disappears out of your reach. Not so fast. I have another task for you. And that is... Now that you belong to the Brotherhood of Fire, you must also fulfill the duties that come with being one of us. The Church is not only concerned with the affairs of magic, it is also the final authority in the administration of justice, as you know. As the you know. The case brought before us opens up a bottomless abyss and must be dealt with once and for all. What's this about? There is someone in the city who has sold falsified shares in the ore mines of the former penal colony. These papers are utterly worthless and of no importance, really. Still, they have the potential of stirring up trouble among the people, which we cannot afford to happen right now. The swindler is supposed to have approached all of the most reputable traders in the city and the country, and has evidently managed to sell his counterfeit mining shares to some of them. Find this evildoer, 
and bring him before this panel. In such hard times, we must not suffer swindlers and plunderers. We must make an example of him in order to deter the rest of the mob. I'll try to clear up the matter. One thing more. When you visit those traders, do not let them know that you are looking for mining shares. I think they probably want to sell them off, and certainly would no longer offer them to you if they realized that you are dealing with them on behalf of the church. You see? Yes. Then get to work. I wish you much success, brother. Okay. One more little thing. Stay away from the roadside shrines. We have heard that some of them have been desecrated. No one can say what effect they have now. It is not your task to solve this problem. The paladins will take care of this matter. This is actually a quest you do get if you're a paladin. To purify those shrines. Alright, how much money do I have? Not very much. You can sell some stuff, but not that much. Enlightens all those who recognize his wisdom. And I can finally create a proper rune. What with? I have no rune stones, really. How can that be? Was it last time I, I tried to make the um make the rune? I, I still was able to use the I was still able to use the um the the table here. Um then I said I had insufficient resources. If I had no runes, then how, how could I have done that? I never would have Weird. Is it really true? Nobody ever asks me. Yeah, apparently I'm out of rune stones. He doesn't see that. I can't help it. Weird. Did like consume a rune stone even though I didn't make a rune? Change. I need a All right, now we have ice block finally. All right, we'll put this on like four, skeleton on five, I mean six, and it's going to be seven. And it's going to be eight. Hmm. All right, what do you need to do next? Nobody ever asks me. He never would have thought of that himself. But Monus uh, will get That's been known a long time. Arbor City and Could have told you that before. Landlord. Nobody will Mm. Or oh, we can return some of the um, some of the skins we've collected. Get some money there. But no, he insisted he knew better. There you are. Rick. I've got a. F That's all just gossip. A sheepskin. I wouldn't dream of wolf skin. A wolf. Good work. That's a decent amount of money. I'm thinking this is gonna change. Good thing you're I here. Thought of that himself. You need to help me. You didn't get that from me. What is this about? A lot of things have changed since I left here. 
I have to get back on my feet somehow. What's the problem? I have to get into the upper quarter. But I'm not a citizen of the town, and I don't have enough money to bribe the guards. That's where you come in. So you want me to lend you some gold? Nonsense. I've got some gold. A whole lot of... You need to go fetch my... Nothing surprises me anymore. Okay. Well, listen. It's been, and I can't leave to cut a long story short. I never knew that. Okay, let's do that. That's been known a long time. Rupert sells apples. Who wants Hello, apples? Strange. You must be hungry. What do you have at the moment? Shit. He really didn't deserve that. Eat those for later because apples make you stronger. That. In this game, when you have apples that. equals one strength. Okay, where do we go from here? Let's talk to Bennett. Get him freed. We'll get a stew. What do you want here? I want to see. We put away the swine who murdered. Okay. How come you're in the slammer? Those swine have thrown me in the hole. I'm supposed to have murdered a paladin. But I didn't do it. They're only trying to frame me. Why would they do that? How would I know? You've got to get me out of here. Talk to Lord Hagen. Tear down the wall. Who cares? Just do something. All right, let's talk to Lord Hagen. Or we have the evidence to free him. He knocked down a judge earlier. The sentence is death by hanging. The execution will take place in a few days. And this is death by hanging. The execution will actually not take place in a few days. Maybe if he like, sleep for 100 days, they're still gonna, I'm not going to execute him. Yeah, just go back to Lord Hagen and it's actually an important so this is like a main quest and after doing this quest if you're playing as a um it's a bad if you're playing as a militia you're gonna be promoted to paladin um and if you're playing as a um, if you're playing as a mercenary, you're going to be promoted to dragon, uh, to dragon hunter. But as a magician, it takes a little bit longer to Cornelius get Cornelius lied. How did you know that? Here, I've got his diary. Everything's in there. That slimy little criminal. In view of the new evidence, there is nothing else I can do. By virtue of the office granted me by king and church, I declare that the prisoner Bennett is exonerated of all charges and is thereby a free man. Cornelius is to be taken into immediate custody for perjury. All right. And we almost have a level up, another 1000 XP. Actually, we'll go to go there, talk to Bennett first. 
And then we get another stew from Tekla. Nothing amazes me anymore. Of course, Tekla is uh, lying in the shells. She can't, in shells that she can't make any more stew because of the, the, the herbs. Man, and here I was thinking they'd really hang me. Well, it worked all right in the end. You can say that again. You should have seen the face of the soldier when he had to let me out. He was so scared, he almost did it in his pants. Which reminds me, I've got something for you. What do you mean? A present. What present? We have heard of the dragons that are said to be in the valley. They're really there. All right, I believe you. Anyway, I thought you would surely want to participate in the upcoming dragon hunt. And? Here, take this amulet. I think you'll need it more than I do. That's really not my problem. That's the first I've heard of it. I mean, is that? There's a life, it's actually not that bad. I don't have an amulet yet. There's a couple you can buy, but none that I have yet. Hey, you! Can I have s no herbs, no stew? Oh shit! Oh, I messed up. Then I get herb, uh, get a stew, and the uh, free Bennett. But of course, the previous guy is still active. I'm actually missing out on the stew. That's bad. Minus one strength. Up to Vasily here. Which owner wants me to speak? Okay, I'm not gonna listen to the whole thing. I've got. Hmm. Oh yeah, that one. I'll pay you a gold piece for it. Not nothing doing. I'm not. A... I. You know what I. Nah, they don't have any value for you. I've got a... Not quite... It's a de... Good. Here's two gold. Okay. Intra sure. Thanks. Here's... All right. I guess we'll need those herbs after all. Um, no, let's take the rune to the tavern. And we'll leave there for one night to get back our mana. Bunch of things we can do now. You just have to. Maybe we can fight some of these uh, bandits that are there. The skeleton as company. I think let's make let's make two skeletons for safety. Probably should make short work of those guys.
anymore here. Oh, there's still someone alive even. Stop right there, you This and its rapier is nice to have. I know nothing about picking locks. There's some goblin berries. Permanent agi bonus. Oh, even two, two there. Okay. Oh, I still want to get the herbs. We'll get to Sagitta idea from the other way around. But we'll take a rest here. Roof of our manor. Actually, there's some bandits here in this cave nearby that I want to take out. With the help of my skeleton. Is this a scan for enemies? Right, there's bandits. Actually, lots of bandits there. Not hide. Another one of those beasts. Oh, it's like an extra quest. Oh, this guy's actually pretty strong. Pull two ways out of here. Stop right there, you low life. Ew. Um, that's pretty tough. Take out my skeleton just like that. Um, let's go back to the tavern. And we'll take this path. We can take out this um, this guy, this novice, novice, cigarettes. Actually, kind of tough. No, just no crits. Why not? And some skins here. I know nothing about picking locks. Yeah, I need to learn lock picking as well. It might actually be like the next ten points I invest. I can get some money. Money, money, money.
actually let, let's uh, let's get uh, do that right away um where is it we want to harbor city And uh, Dorben can teach us how to pick locks. Hey. Your niece. What? The brace. Give it back to. Here's your go. Thanks. I can't put. What? I make my up. Can you? T you have brought me the 100. I am almost embarrassed. If I cannot pay back my debt to let, give me another hundred. Fine. Teach me. But if you, the more. Okay. Can you sell? If I haven't. Can you sell? If I have. Buy the apple here. Get some lock picks because we're gonna need some because we don't have a lot of dexterity. The way lock picking works in this game is it's kind of like a mini game where you have to um, sort of figure out a combination of um, like left, left, right. Um, and each chest is a particular combination that you have to figure out, and if you get it wrong, then your lock pick uh, might break, and the probability of it breaking is dependent on your dexterity. So if you have low decks, like I do, you don't use up a lot of um, lock picks. It's really not my problem. Um, okay, we'll sleep. So we'll get back there, not to land on her, but to... Heaven. Okay. I'm going to try to get to Sagitta. Which, fun fact, is Latin for arrow. Even though she has nothing to do with arrows. Um, lots of seekers everywhere. Maybe we can try taking this guy, this guy out. So we'll need like this. Create a skeleton. Pretty tough. But for the skeleton, an ice block, you can bring them down. Oh, it's actually even, even pretty close there. Oh, eat this mana for safety. We're not going to have to rely on healing potions for very long anymore because at some point we're going to get, find a, a healing rune. We also learn it for three learning points, but I'd rather not spend the money. If I don't have to, I'll spend the learning points rather. I got some of these lesser guys here with our regular weapons. Yeah, like get a crit at some point. Come on, there we go.
And the seeker here. We'll, I'll just have to take him out. Skeleton. Actually, cutting it way close. Actually, probably need a little bit, little bit more strength before I can actually really safely engage against these people, against the seekers. Or we do use like two ice blocks. Oh. Trying to shoot the skeleton with arrows. Okay, that's it. remember from the first stream we had a quest to look for the weapons dealer and here we find finally nothing the to be had there. decisive piece of evidence there nothing to be had there the this thing it's Fernando actually Hide of a Shadow Beast, that's also quite valuable. And now here's the mini game. To left, right, right. Okay, that was correct. Nothing to be had there. These rapiers. You also have like a lot of loot there. Too bad. Also somewhere around here. A potion. No, it's on one of these ledges here. I think it's over here behind that tent. Oh yeah, we have to go past this log here. And there we find the good stuff. Goblin's bone. Nice little bow. Actually a really strong scroll as well. It's a fire uh, rain fire scroll. And the elixir of dexterity. is useful to have 
I'm not playing a Dex character, but still. Having dexterity helps a bit when you're using bows, when I, which I might do occasionally. Like bows or crossbows. And... Also, for some of these lesser opponents, it might be useful to just use bows. Okay, we can fight these blood flies. You can see, I can now one shot the blood flies. Couldn't before. Be super careful though, there's like a bunch of dragon snappers and such here. I don't want to mess it up with those guys. Mm, delicious mushrooms. Mm. Yeah, it's first steal from her and then we'll talk to Arrow. Right, got lucky there. Kind of weird that she, kind of she has no no um, bed here. All by yourself out here? Tell me what you want of me, and then go away. I'm busy. Busy sitting in the same chair for forever. Can you heal me? That's what you came for, isn't it? Just let me know when there's something wrong with you. Who are you? You haven't heard of me then. Herb witch, they say. Quack, they call me. But when they're in a bad way, they all suddenly remember good old Sigita and her healing herbs. What are you doing? I've been living here for as long as I can remember, attending to my herbs. The forest is my friend. It offers me all that I need. Thecla sent me to pick up a package for her. Ah, yes. I had actually expected her days ago. Here's the package. Take good care of it. Oh, sorry. I hit the mic stand here. The mic. Um, what, where? Tell me what you want. Ooh, this is good stuff that we can buy later. Right now, we can't really afford that sort of stuff. We don't need it either. Because we're not taking strength bonuses yet, anyway. Now, with all the stuff we get from the bandits, we actually our our finances are much improved. We just have to. Um, look in on here uh, a little bit later. Okay, to land on her, we have no mana. Yeah, I should have done this before freeing uh, Bennett. Now we're gonna miss out on, on one um, on one stew. Here's the package from S Thanks a lot. You don't have to ask me that. Can I have I heard you helped Bennett get up. It was his decision, wasn't it? Can I as if I didn't have enough problems? Yeah. You only got two stews. Um smart kid. Okay, talk to Bulko. 
to beat up Volko. I wouldn't know about. How's it going? Have I given you permission to? Hey, asshole! You don't actually think I'd get involved in a duel with you? Go crawl back under your rock. Silvio doesn't like being talked to. You might have gathered as much by now. Alright. I'm gonna freeze him up. Where is he? Come on. Mr. Bulko. Oh, he's stuck there at the table. Well, you get me yet, okay? Oh, he's stuck again, okay. This guy over there is going to appreciate that I beat up Boko. What are you guarding sheep? Doesn't all Nah. What's a... There's a small pack of a few days. Oh, still have to take out the wolves, okay? Yeah. All right, kill the wolves. Why not? Oh, that's also some nice pelts. Oh, even the Shadow Beast hide. Too shabby. There's still quite a lot of ways to go for the next level up. Yeah, it definitely needs a bit more strength. So I can actually deal with the um, the seekers. Hey, I've done in. But now I still don't know how to. It's all that damn bull. What did you? He's one of the mercy. But is that bastard's fault? I wish I could at least punch. Bulko got what was coming to the swine dessert. Okay. An extra XP there, and then we'll talk to Thekla, she's gonna give us another stew to beat up Bulko. You just have to listen. Nobody ever asked for more than that. That's really what you You really let Bulko have it, honey. Must have been an exhausting job to thrash that fat swine. Here, have a bite to eat so you'll gain back your strength. Much obliged. All right. himself was after him. Same old thing, all over again. 
So let's go to the. Just stay away from me. That wasn't so yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay away from me. The magic of yours. I get it. Um. Where are we? Um, Arbor City. Go away, don't tell me that. And it's gonna get even worse. Um, we can also just uh, borrow some money so that um, they never pay it back. How much do you? What do you mean? I'm the money lender, and you can. Well, let me. Sure. How much would? Two hundred gold coins. That's a lot of money. Okay. Of course, you're never gonna pay it back. I've got a, f a sheepskin. You I wouldn't dream. Wolfskin. A war. Ah, good one. Show me your. Not what I heard. Nobody ever asked for my opinion. Is it really true? Okay. We've got quite a bit of gold. Take a brief nap. And... I get our hands on a bit of extra mana. Because it's kind of restrictive to have only 60 mana. Show me your okay, divine power of the stars, something we need. This is also can buy this one right away. Okay, divine power of the stars and some extra mana for us. Also a quest item later on. Not sure if if, if uh, you get that quest as a mage. I think you do still. Anyway. And the sea release the land. Oh, let's talk to Martin. From the evidence we have. I found the dish that Lucia stole from you. Great! High time I got it back. What about a reward? You'll get to have a good time with one. Agreed. Thanks. Go to it. Let's go. Today's your lucky day. All right, do that later. Simply talks too much. It can't go on like this forever. That's been known a long time. I could have told you that. That will never change. You should really have known better. Don't tell me. It was just like you said. 
Hey, you. You have no business over here. But he knew that all You're looking... Says who? Oh. Not much, but... Ah. Where did you Tell me. Listen. We know that... An... And some of the weapons are even supposed to have come from the... We still don't know if, if you have enough goods to take on a group of at least five... What about? We know that the bandits are currently blockading the roads that connect the farmers to the city. Besides that, I know that there must have been a weapons delivery in the last few days. Maybe some clues to uncover the weapons dealer could be found with the bandits. Uh, about the weapons dealer? Show me what you have. I found this rapier with the bandits. The letter F is carved on the pommel. This list of deliveries of weapons and other things to the bandits here is signed by a certain Fernando. I think that's enough. Fernando, then. Well, he'll get what's coming to him. <laughs> and he always acts like butter wouldn't melt in his mouth. I'll see to it that he's put away until he rots. Sound work, I must say. Vatris will be glad of this good news. Okay. We can go over there, kill some lizards. Go to the ship. I think as a paladin, I think you, as as a major thing, you can go on the ship. At this point already. Anything like that? I don't think so. No, just uh, not weed, which is useful for for brewing potions. Used in basically all the non-permanent potions. Fish. That's actually not a bad weapon. We want a weapon though, so we're not going to use it. Hope we can sell it. Let's see if we can actually get access to the ship. To... Sorry, you can't. I want to get a book. No one may enter the ship. I shall kill anyone who went in the name of Inos. I sh you question the wish of a fire magician? No, of course not. May Inos forgive me. The magicians of fire are the guardians of the wisdom of Inos. Whoever doubts them doubts Inos and forfeits any right to mercy. What happens if I go aboard? I shall kill. I, I mean, stop. You would attack a fire magician? I would never lay a hand on a magician. So, what would you do if I went aboard? Nothing, sir. I will go aboard now. You mustn't do that. Lord Hagen's orders were quite clear. 
Do Lord Hagen's orders include me, too? I don't know. Just think, would Lord Hagen dare to suspect a magician of theft? I don't believe that. For the last time... Okay. Don't get into trouble. We won't, we'll just steal some stuff. A few small things. Nothing major. Um, dig into the hold. Or oh, rather, second mice. Drink potion. Which, of course, we, we're not going to use right now, but it's good to have for later. Also, they got a little bit of gold and such. Or some mole rat fats. There's a ring now, I'm not sure what that ring does. Might be probably this ring. It's not too useful. We can sell it. Okay. In the harbor city. And we'll swim to that island. There's some more stuff over there. It's about getting some gold. And it's also actually a quest over there. Mana quest that's gonna give us a bit of a permanent bonus that gives us some HP and and, and mana. Actually kind of important. Probably would have actually been faster just to uh, jump off the ship and and swim there. But I don't want to be certain I don't swim out too far because if you swim out too far, you just like die. Get eaten by a sea monster. Oh, I don't want that to happen. Yeah, it definitely saves time if you do this after you already have uh, teleport rooms. You know, to swim back. Also some um, stone tablets here. Lizard. Mr. Lizard, please. Oops, hit my skeleton. Excellently, no, Lizard. There you go. Unless the targeting system in this game is a bit finicky. 
skeleton is dead. Stone tablet, and then inside here, gonna be some treasure. Or oh, second stone tablet, even. I need to use this switch, very important, so we don't die. Otherwise, you die when you walk across these these uh, spike traps. Okay, left, oh, right, left, left, right, 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 left. Okay. Okay, hundred gold. Why not? Right, left, left, right, left, left, right, 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 left, left, right, 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 left. Okay. I'll never get this open without the right key. Oh, is, did I not get the Cavalon silver thing here? I guess it's, it's down in the in uh, the sewers. All right. Hey you. Okay. I'm paid our debts. We can fight a bit. Give it your all. Give it your all. Don't stop now. Not bad. Easy. That's a bad business. I can't keep anything to himself. That's not what my husband. Um, we'll avoid this guy. Actually, we don't. We don't sleep first. What do you want here? Go. Smart kid. Hey, wait. I uh, have a message for you from Lamar. Who says things like that? Cut out this ah, and now cut out this smart kid. Ah, ah, all right. I can't do this if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. That's not what I heard. I think I have some more skins to deliver. Mr. Bosco. No? Don't have any skins? I had some. Never mind. Hey. Okay, let's talk to Vatras. Tell him about the V. Pick it up with the weapon stealers. No letters. Talk to me. Ah. I've delivered your message. Accept my thanks. Um. Okay, King Sauron obviously is the most. Uh, it's the best one here. Um. How about this weapon steel? About this. 
I know the dealer who's been selling his name. Very good. As Mark. Yes. Martin will. Well done. Does that mean that you're going to let me join the Ring of Water now? That was not what we agreed upon, and you know it. May Adonis light your path. About those. Let me tell you. I think you're on the right. Okay. Hmm. A lot of tablets already. Actually, buy some experience. Can you make? Yes. How much? For a poultry. Tell me about the. All right, son of knowledge. I shall now enter a state of. Who shall force? What is nobody's destiny, but yours? Through fire and snow. Through ice and flames, men in foreign armor. A swamp, lizards, they await you. That's all. Well, it's already getting kind of late. We're probably not going to go on for too much longer. We don't need Baltram, we want to talk to Zeus. Hey, you! That's not what my husband thinks. Show me. He had better shot up. Show me your. Oh my god. Show me. Go away, don't tell me that. Okay, Elixir of Spirit. Buy this. Can't keep anything to yourself. Big potion, buy it as well. Everybody knows by now. And it's gonna get even worse. I won't tell you. And we'll sell. Can't keep anything to yourself. We don't actually want the battle axe, but we yeah, never Everybody mind. Let's keep it for now. now. There's cutlass, there's bandits rapier, we'll one pickaxe. Don't tell this to anyone. Go away. Don't talk about it. Bunch of bows sold. That's not what my husband thinks. That's an open secret. If I had okay. with Wait a minute. Actually, we'll also buy the show me your the mine shares. Don't tell this to anyone. Do yeah, do we actually have the quest to, to buy the mine shares? The pendants wants all those forged papers. Okay, so we we have to buy them. Hey, I can't take care of everything for everybody. Show me your. Everybody knows by now. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. These are bad times. That's what I've always said. Someone's got to do the work. That's not what I heard. That's an open secret. I don't believe that. He can't keep anything to himself. Who says things like that? Mm. Actually, no, we need to talk to Skip. Skip the pirate. We'll soon be able to stop using that, that mana ring. Okay, actually, also... Um, Deal with this guy. Where the pack of the weed is. That um, Cypher has stolen.
Anything down here? No. Okay. Talk to to skip so that we find out who is the leader of the bandits. Stone tablets here. Baltram, you're waiting for a merchant? Smart kid, aren't you? That's what I just said, isn't it? Uh, that good-for-nothing junk merchant seems to have forgotten me. If only I could get my hands on him. Hey, you! Who are you? I don't see how that's any of your business. But if you must know, my name is Skip. Does that ring a bell? Who? Are you telling me you've never heard of Skip? Holy shit! Where do you live? I'm one of Corinus's most wanted criminals. Me and my boys have been the scourge of the waters around this crummy island for years. Come on, you must have heard of me. Should I know you? Mind that mouth of yours, lad. Or old Skip will give you what for? Where do you come from? You want to know where our hideout is? If I tell you that, I might as well invite the militia to arrest me. And, in case you would like to pay us a visit, it wouldn't help you in the least. The island of Gurinus is large, and no one ever gets to where we are anyway. Unless they have a cog or some other ship. And then you'd have to find your way through the cliffs as well. Nobody gets through there, unless they know the secret path. There are only two people who know the path, and you're not one of them. A lot of citizens are missing, and everything seems to indicate that you're not quite innocent in the matter. Uh, damn it. It's not what you think it is. Do I look like a slave trader to you? No, I only transport goods. What they are, and where they come from, is no concern of mine. We have shipped all kinds of things for those swine. First, it was just regular stuff. Well, sometimes it may have been contraband. But then they started to kidnap the inhabitants of the city. No idea what they're planning to do with them. All we did was ferry them across. Who are you? The bandits, of course. Who else? The f and not just here. Just bandit. A name? You want to know who's le- Hmm. I just can't recall his name. Have you got a decent map? I've got a map right here. But someone scribbled all- There's a very big farm far to the east. The farmer's name is Onar, I think. He's got some fairly large field. That's where you'll- I remember his name now. Dexter. Yes, Dexter. I think they called him Dexter. Darkly dreaming Dexter. Where did you take? I already told you. Dex, of course, is one of the characters from uh, Gothic One. It was a shadow. It's part of the old camp. That's also why in the previous dialogue with the. Uh, um, with Greg, we said that you know it might be it might be Diego because Diego was also a shadow. This name also starts with D, but actually it's Dexter. 
in Gothic 1 you can teach you... What can he teach you in Gothic 1? No, I think he's just like a merchant in Gothic 1. And you can steal this stuff. Oh, it's even an old stone tablet. Those are important. You can turn them into Latras eventually and get mana for them. One mana per stone tablet as long as you turn in at least 10 at a time. I think that's like 23 or something in the game. You have to turn them either in all at, all at one time or like in two batches. And each. Did I open this already? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, it's not going any further. It's like a, a few more lizards and stuff. Um, further on. So, I'll just do this quest now. And, we'll try to like get, uh, get us to the new world and then we'll end the stream for the day. Oh, that's already nine. Maybe. Yeah. Honestly, we'll end it here. Um, so next time we're gonna go to, we're gonna go confront Dexter and get into Yakenda or Jakenda, I think it's pronounced here in the English version. And yeah, that's gonna be for for next time. We're gonna deal with the pirates and the the bandits and so on. Um, but that's gonna be next time. For now, I'm gonna save the game. And we'll continue our journey next Sunday. And hopefully I'll see some of you there. And um, in the meantime, on Wednesday, we're going to do our Wednesday, Wednesday stream. And always willing, I'll see you there.